All right. Okay. Everything seems to be live. Everything seems to be going as intended. Give me just one moment, and I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Phone needs to be had. Alright. And Chupi, you have your bed right next to me. Looks like you can curl up like a good boy you are. You are a good boy, Chupi. Oh, you love cats, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do, good boy, Chupi. Good boy, Chupi. Alright. We're here. We're queer. And... Um... A third thing. Okay. That seems all good. My phone is still trying to load shit. tell my beautiful wife that I love her. This is very important to me. So what are we playing today? So what are we playing today? Hello, lol. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh, am I not connected to my uh, Wi-Fi connection? On my phone, that is. Oh, thank you so much for the hydrate. Ahem, ahem. Delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are playing Stardew Valley. Um, I thought that I had solved the issue that that ended our Minecraft playthrough prematurely last week, um, but it popped up again today. I changed the DNS router or the Papa, DNS. Your voice is cutting out. My voice is cutting out. That's not good. Testing. Testing. One. Two. Three. Hello? Hello? Can y'all hear me? Bop. Bop, bop, bop. It's okay, so it's it's fine for Lul. Okay. Well, as long as one of you can hear me, fine. Um, what was I saying? Uh, uh, right, no. I changed my DNS address, and that solved the issue previously. I could log in and swim around for a little bit. Um, and now it's not working again. Uh, but I have clear. Why you were saying you were going to feed me bug? I did not say that. I did not say that. At no point did I ever say that. You fool. You fool. You fool. Uh, give me one momento. Uh, where is? Where is that? Ah, here we are. We are dealing with this. Okay, minimize that. Ugh. <clears throat> yeah, it's frustrating. I have clarified, I have verified that the issue is on my end. Um, the Minecraft pub. server is fine. Pub. Pub, 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 pub. Pub sub. Oh, I could go for a pub sub right about now. Ooh. A sub from uh, Publix, which is the local grocery store. Their deli is so good. It's so good. <coughs> Pardon me. Ugh. Uh, but I still did want to stream. So here we are. And fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we have a good time. All right. It is about time to switch over. So let's go ahead and get started. Zwoop. Ha! 
Howdy, farmhands. My name is Gata, and um, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, today, we are playing some more of Stardew Valley Poly Percent. Uh, let me click on this so that's... There we go. We've got some cloud movement going on here. Um, so for those of you who are not aware, uh, is we are playing a modded version of Stardew Valley with the intent being that we will uh, be inviting every romanceable character in the game to come live with us on our farming commune. Some of the relationships are romantic, some of them are platonic, some of them are just roommate situations. Um, but we are essentially doing Stardew Valley the movie where we see everyone's cutscenes and one by one invite everyone to come live with us on the farm. Currently we have two life partners in uh, Abigail and uh, Sam and we are married to Sebastian. We're currently rowing through our first winter so we can't ask anyone else to move in because it has to be raining uh, for us to get the seashell pendant. But, yeah, that's what we're doing. Let me just real quick pause the music. Don't need that anymore. For whatever reason, the menu music is so much louder uh, on this. Uh, and also... Papa, I just learned that if a giant squid eats something too big, it will damage its brain. Is tea that interesting? Isn't that interesting? I, I, I would call that interesting, yes. But also a little scary. A little scurry. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's this? Oh, we have the leaves. How pretty. How cute. Oh, oh, that's Junimos. Hi, guys. Hi. Look how cute they are. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the game. We were meant to play this last week, um, but stream for that was canceled. So I guess this kind of balances it out. Question mark? Question mark? Oh boy, we do have new people today, so I can show you around the farm. Once the goddamn game loads. Hello? 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 Game? Game, please. Game, you can't do this to me. Wait. Game? There we go. Oh, thank God. Damn. All right, so we are Farmer Gata, day 21 of winter, year one. That's what my brain is like when I am doing math. If you put too much numbers into it, it'll damage your brain. I understand. I understand completely. <laughs> your brain is a donut? That's what it feels like sometimes. My brain feels like a sieve. Just stuff just goes right through it. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! <laughs> Come on, Stardew Valley, why are you taking so long to load? Do I have any extraneous programs running? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. It's just taking its own sweet time. Ah, uh, There we go. Thank fuck. Scared the shit out of me. Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome into Stardew Valley. As you can see, I have many rooms. I have many rooms. My dear husband, Sebastian, is still sound asleep, so we'll leave him be. But my partner's Sam and, uh, here's Sam. Hey, buddy. Do you ever think about the night you came to see the band perform? That's a really good memory for me. Let me move. Why is the delay so much worse when I'm in your country? I don't know. I don't know. Bro has a five people bed. We're gonna need more than that before this playthrough is over. Trust me, trust me. We're getting everybody in here. It's for Henbert, yes. Some villagers have noticed your blooming friendship with Evelyn. I would hope so. Some villagers have noticed your close bond with Evelyn. Oh, okay. Me and Evelyn, we're besties. Good morning, Abigail. Papa, is that five-person bed for me? I mean, you're certainly allowed to join us. If you don't mind, you don't mind if I do some redecorating now and then, do you? I'm still excited to have a place of my own to work on. Of course you can do some redecorating. That's not a problem at all. All right, what do we got here? The spirits are in good humor today, so it's a good day for the mind. 
It's going to be clear and sunny. And I've learned how to make pumpkin pie. Ooh. I have learned to cook pumpkin pie. Amazing. All right. Let's grab this diamond. And then grab this piece of mail. Dear Gata, I have great news. Linus just informed me that he's found a hidden trail leading up to a secret summit lookout. This means we'll be able to hold our New Year's Eve celebration and fireworks display this year. If you'd like to join us, head to the train station on the last day of the year at any time between 10 p.m. and 12 p.m. and follow the trail. Okay. All right. So the last day of the year, that's after the Feast of the Winter Star. Oh, thanks to the ectoplasm you delivered to me, I've made a uh, major breakout in the field of arcade engineering. Enclosed, you'll find blueprints for a most useful machine. Signed, M. Rasmodius, the wizard. New crafting recipe, a mini obelisk. What does the mini obelisk require? Um... Here it is. Requires 20 solar essence and 3 gold bars. Place two on the farm to warp between them. Hello? Oh, did the veg not work? Did the veg freeze? Hold on a minute. Alright. Let me test veg real quick for you. Terribly sorry. No, a veg just straight up isn't working. Okay, I'm going to have to refresh Bikubot. Bikubot. <laughs> Papa, can I date the wizard? I want to learn magic. I'm just going to pretend uh, that Henbert said that. Will veg work now that I have rebooted Bikubot? Well, I can't do that because it's on cooldown. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. No, it wasn't Bikubot, it's the veg that needs to be refreshed. I am sorry that stream is so fucking scuffed this morning, everybody. Holy shit. Twitch item flood. Alright, it's loading. There we go. Okay. Now you should be able to veg literate me. There we go. Much better. Much better. Sorry about that, everyone. Much there we go. There's the veg. There's the veg we like to see. Also, I do have the friendship bracelet, which I can craft from a mermaid's pendant. I just need to get first day in America and it's scuffed. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But no, so between two on the farm, will this allow me to, it probably won't allow me to teleport outside the farm, but it's still useful. I, do I have, do I have any extra solar essence? I'm pretty certain I've been selling it. I have four whole solar essence. Well, now I know that it's useful. Now I know that I need to hang on to the solar essence. That's fine. That's fine. Thanks for joining me last night. I had a great time. I'm actually glad that bear showed up. See you soon. Love, Emily. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey there. I had some extra wood lying around. I thought maybe you could use it. Take care. Signed, Robin. Well, thank you, Robin. How many letters do I have? Gotta, how are you doing? Hope the winter has been too hard on you. Anyway, I'm writing to ask you for some hardwood. I need about 10 pieces, if you've got it. If not, no worries. Take care. I have different character emotes. Uh, you mean as in talking to them? I do have, well, well, well hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me talk to. Yeah, I do have modded character portraits. Hey, do we have any pizza in the freezer? I'm hungry. I mean, probably? No, but we have a whole ass thing of pink cake, if that helps. I don't know if that helps. 
All right. Before we go anywhere else, I do need to pick these up. Oh, the PNG tuber. Yeah, I do. I'm just not very good at using them. I'm not very good at using them. <laughs> My hotkeys are, um, uh, they're a whole thing. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. All right. Let's grab the oranges out, I think. I know, I know. I went through all of the pro progress of uh, commissioning different art pieces and I don't fucking use them. I am a monster. You have modded portraits to make the wizard a mommy. You know what? Good for you. Good for you, man. I'm proud of you. All right. Let me check real quick. We need large eggs and large milks to complete this bundle. Do I need a wine still for... No, I do. I already put wine for the enchanter's bundle. I need a pomegranate. Red mushroom. Do I need red mushroom? That's taken care of. That needs apples. Um... No, I don't need red mushroom. Alright, so I can go ahead and sell... That's a geode. I can sell all of this whatnot. Oh, I didn't check on the ghost fish. Let's see. Fish tank. River fish, crab fish, ocean fish. Night fish does not require ghost fish. Oh, the specialty fish bundle requires the ghost fish. Amazing. No, I do not have it automated. The majority of the mods are about um, cutscenes and player interaction. Um, I try not to have the game play itself too much. So it's a vanilla-ish Stardew Valley experience. The gameplay should not be adjusted aside from the relationship stuff. Um, wild plum. No, it's pomegranate that I need. It's pomegranate that I need. The fruit bat cave is a much better than the mushroom boxes. I agree. Unironically, I do in fact agree. I always go with fruit. Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. How are we doing today? All right, let's pull the hay out. Bop, bop. And then one more bop. Mods that add crops, not in this playthrough. Not in this playthrough. In a future one, maybe. You're not. You're still too young. You're still a baby. How now the brown cow is still a baby? We got just a regular milk. That's fine. I can live with that. Uh, let's clear my inventory a smidge. What's, what's... Hello? There we go. Okay. Alright, so the cows are handled. Let's go bother the chickens. Ooh, and we've completely lost our fences. Well, that's fine. We have a little bit of time before I have to worry about that. Oh, chickies and duckies! Hello, everyone! Good morning. Oh, no, I don't want to eat the fucking egg. Hello, hello, hello. Is there an ending to the game? Technically, the playthrough will end once I have successfully married everyone. The game can go continually, but at the, at the two or three year mark, the spirit of grandpa comes back and judges your farm. And that's what I think is going to be like the end end of the playthrough. If I marry everyone in time. The game can feasibly be played forever. Um, but for our purposes, we will not be doing that. All right. And then we have another regular egg. Let's put this extant duck egg in there and we'll sell the gold stars. All right. So that's all of our farm animals cared for. That's all of our animals cared for, which means now that it is winter, uh, we can head down into the mine and see about getting some stuff and such. So let's sell all of this, all of this, all of this. Keep the ghost fish, uh, keep the forage for food. Oh, hi, Nathan, from Reckless Attack. 
How are you doing today? How are you? You're at year 892? I, I could never. I would unironically get bored before then. All right, so the ghost fish is important to us, so we definitely want to keep that. We're going to pull the cave carrot and the cooking pep the pepper poppers out. We have obsidian edge and templar's blade. Obsidian edge is just better than templar's blade in every possible. I am A-OK. -okay. I am finally semi caught up on sleep, so feeling mildly on top of the world. Amazing! Amazing. Fantastic. I'm happy for you. Uh, put the hoe, put the axe, uh, put the geode. We have the obsidian edge. No, we'll, we'll, um, no, I want the hoe out in case I find any worms in the cage. At 892, I would also just stop. Yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that. Um, Let's take the cookies. Why not? We'll take the cookies. Ooh, hold on. Plus one mining for the maple bar. No, the, the maple, that's coming with us. That's coming with us and the pepper poppers are going back in. Okay. All right. Two. I don't have my pickaxe on me because I'm a fucking idiot. Goes to the mines, leaves his fucking pickaxe at home. I am a goddamn. Where the fuck is my pickaxe? Oh, I know. <laughs> I, I gave it to. I, <laughs> I'm a moron. I gave it to Clint to be upgraded. I'm. I cannot believe this. I would have waltzed my way all the way up to the mines, gotten down there and been like, where's my pickaxe? Where's my, I am. I've never claimed to be good at video games. Now, conventionally attractive with a fat ass, sure, but never good at video games. All right. Hi, Clint. Thank you, Clint. Bye, Clint. Okay. Oh, and also we do have the mine carts now, so I can just do one of these. Go to the mines. All right. Good morning. Sunday's my favorite day of the week. I spend all in morning adventuring. Congratulations, I'm proud of you. Floor 90. Okay. So we are going to put this here. We're going to put this here. We're going to eat this once we get down into the mine. Eat the maple bar. Yes. And unfortunately, it would appear that we are on floor 91 and it may be infested. Oof. Ouch. Ouch. Go away. 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 Oop. Nope. That's not what I wanted at all. Die. Die, you fool. Is this Stardew Valley expanded? It is not Stardew Valley expanded. However, the game is modded. Nathan, I don't think you've actually been here when I've been playing this. So let me give you the quick rundown. Uh, we are playing Stardew Valley as a poly percent run. We do have a selection of mods, uh, all of which expand upon cutscenes, player interactions, and the ability to have a commune of farmers uh, living with us. We are attempting to romance and or befriend every romanceable option in the game. Not everyone is going to be uh, romantic. We have various platonic partners. Um, currently, we have, in, have two life partners in Abigail and Sam, and one husband in Sebastian. That's the, uh, that's the, 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 the vibe right now. Um, it is primarily vanilla-ish, so the gameplay hasn't been adjusted too much. Uh, but the, the, the villagers, the people who live in town, have had mods that expand upon their dialogue and their cutscenes and so on and so forth. Um, the actual Stardew Valley Expanded is not in this playthrough. I do, however, intend to at some point do a poly percent playthrough with Stardew Valley Expanded specifically, um, because what's the pink-haired cosplayer's name? I, I adore her. She is one of my favorites. Can't recall her name because it's been a while, but I love her. 
All right, so that's all of the good stuff. Let's go ahead and go down to the next level. All right. There is train tracks, minecart tracks, which we can follow. Hello, stone man, stone person. Give me that solar essence, thank you very much. An emmer dude. Don't mind if I ever do. I definitely think if I play again, I'll open up some more dialogue options and or do SVE, neither of which I've either done. There's a lot of good dialogue expansion options out there. Um, the thing is, I've noticed uh, that most people who try to expand the game either adore Stardew Valley Expanded or they cannot stand it. Uh, there are as many expansion mods which purposefully hook into SVE as there are mods that say, do not ask me to hook into SVE. So I don't know what sort of like drama is going on in the Stardew Valley community, but lines are drawn and I respect that. So for this playthrough, I'm doing it without SVE. Uh, for the next, I will hook into SVE. Oh, and there's the way down. Let's see here. Is there any other? I don't see any other doodads. SVE is a uh, very large SVE and Ridgeside. Have you ever, have you ever played Ridgeside? Are very um, contained expansions. Uh, if something fucks with it, uh, it runs the risk of ruining the entire mod experience. So I understand why some people are either for or against compatibility. Some people are like, listen, have you seen what Stardew Valley Expanded adds? Have you seen what I'll, I would have to make my thing compatible with if I said, yeah, sure, play it with Ridgeside? Like, fucking not for me. Once the most recent up, uh, the mo most, uh, the, the new update, the 1.6 update of Stardew Valley comes out and we have a new standard for modding, um, I imagine, I hope, that things will be more compatible with each other just by nature of using the same framework. Because right now, Stardew Valley modding is spaghetti code run through a strainer. It's a miracle that any of it works together. Every single mod needs like six different dependencies just to run. So it's, uh, it's kind of a jalopy. It's kind of a jalopy. One of the mods that I am playing with is a, a really neat addition where um, when you... Oops. Hello? Hello? There, go away. Um, where as you become friends with certain individuals, their friends and family will gain uh, incremental friendship because it's like you're, you're instating yourself in their lives. So like, as I befriend Sam, um, I get friendship points with his brother and mom because they know who I am. I'm that guy who's befriending their family member. Uh, the funny thing is that this mod uh, doesn't allow you to have any negative uh, any, any, it, it, you don't lose friendship points with any of them, right? Unless you marry Emily, in which point Clint goes from thinking you're neat to hating your fucking guts because that was Clint's female to my lady. How dare you marry her before he could, which I think is just the funniest thing in the goddamn world. I am not a fan of Clint personally not a big fan of the guy nathan says i want to say 1.6 or at least 1.5 was supposed to be specifically more compatible with mods maybe 1.5 was where um concerned ape was like aware that there was a modding community um but n there weren't any internal changes to make modding easier 1.6 her concerned ape specifically will exclusively be about making it easier to mod. Um, here's hoping the community thinks it's worth it. Clint is a big man baby. Clint is a big man baby, and I I think he I think he's a well written character for that. I just hate him. I just hate him. Nathan, who is your favorite? Who is your favorite character in the Stardew de Valley? Um. And do you like Alex? I need to know. 
People are very against Alex, and I talk about this every single stream, because someone comes in and has to say, I dislike Alex. And then we have to have the whole conversation, the whole kit and caboodle. Alex has one really weird and weirdly misogynistic line of dialogue at the very beginning of you interacting with him, and then it never comes up again in any of the interactions with him. It's so out of character for the rest of his arc that people are like, oh, I don't, I don't like Alex based on that alone. And I have to be like, listen, I know it's rough, but I promise you, I promise you it gets better. It's just so weird that it never, it almost never comes up again after that one line of dialogue. Okay, let's get rid of you. Oh, I'm getting so many notes. So many notes. Die already. There's a bat. I hate you. Please go away. There we go. He's dead. Hi, Susie. Susie says, I'm very fond, Alex. I love Alex. I love Alex so much. It's that one fucking line of dialogue that gets me every time. Every other character is consistent from their introduction through, but not Alex. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh shit, it's getting late. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to the time. Fuck, 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 Hey, swirled squirrels, what the fuck is that? Welcome in. Uh, give me a second. Everything in the world is trying to kill me. And I'm slowed. Oh, I'm slowed and I have no energy. Shit. Okay, no, we gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. I know, I know, I know. Okay, grab this. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're going. It's Oh. Oh, no. G gotta? Wake up! I'm wearing the Santa hat! <laughs> oh, you're awake! Uh, uh, huh? What? So, weird story. Earlier, I got this random feeling that something terrible had happened, and I just knew it was about you. Abigail, you are magic! Don't ask me how I knew it really just came to me. Abigail shakes her by her shoulders. You are of the supernatural. You are supernatural. Wherever it came from, though, it led me to find you. I can't complain. Hi, hi, Marlin. And I simply came along to the clear path for Abigail while we brought you back up to the surface. At first, I was to venture in alone, but she insisted on coming along. You're blessed to have ended up sharing your life with someone so courageous. <gasps> courageous, huh? I like the sound of that. Sounds like you're buttering me up to recruit me for the guild. It's in my nature to be frank. But you're not frank, you're Marlin. I'm simply stating the fact of what I saw. You did well, standing by my side. At any rate, it's best to leave for now. Gotta needs to rest and recuperate. You two shouldn't linger. Farewell. Hey, Gotta. I know I don't sound like it, but I really was worried for you. I'm sorry, Abigail. I got to explore the mines, but it wasn't so exciting when all I could think of was you in danger somewhere. I'm glad we made it in time to find you. And I'm glad I got to swing my sword a few times, too. Just you wait until I get stronger. We'll conquer the minds as a dream team together. Aww. Ow. I seem to have lost 1,000 gold and four items from my backpack. Okay. Well, in the grand scheme of things, I could have lost worse. All right, hold on a moment. I need to catch up on chat. Swirled Squirrels is watching without audio, so 
Hello, swirled squirrels. They probably can't hear it, but they get a jolly jangle of the cheer bell. Thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you so much for the follow. And Nathan says, I'm definitely already very pro Marlon getting more to do. Always wish he had some more going on. Absolutely. Uh, both Marlon and Gunther, I have mods that are installed that, like, give them things to do. They give them, like, schedules and places to go. Um, the only downside is that the walk cycles are bugged. Uh, so whenever... <laughs> Whenever one of them tries to go anywhere, they blink in and out of existence. And we just choose not to talk about that. It's fine. It's fine. All right. We need to, we need to go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot we have mine cards. Uh, bus stop. All right. Oh, shit. And there goes the bus. At 1 a.m.? Pam, where are you going? Pam, where could you possibly be headed at this time of night? Get in bed, 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 get in bed. I brisk it. Go to sleep for the night? Yes. Good night, everyone. Wait, the bus leaves with this mod? Fascinating. So, this mod, um, let me see here. Uh... According to this, I am running Smappy version uh, 3.18.5, and I am running Stardew Valley 1.5.6 with 221 mods. So, um, yeah. That's a big number. It's mostly libraries. I must be honest with you. It's almost entirely libraries. Um, which is wild. There's, there's, a, there's a mod that lets... There, there, there's a mod for almost every individual uh, villager. So there's like extra dialogue and extra cutscenes for different characters interacting with each other. Um, there's expanded dialogue for uh, Leo... Uh, I have a mod that lets me uh, access uh, the islands earlier to adopt Leo. By the way, we're adopting Leo on this playthrough. My favorite is the free Dusty mod, which allows Alex's dog to roam free and you can pet him. So we'll head into town and say hello to him at some point. I hope you don't mind the guinea pig smell. No, not a problem at all. I love the guinea pig. Morning, Sam. What's on your agenda today? Um, gay. Ha-ha! <laughs> and good morning, Sebastian. I'm debating whether I should work, just read comics all day. You do you. I, I am, I am your, your sugar farmer. I am the one funding, uh, everyone's lifestyle. Also love that they have 17 extra rooms in your house for each additional partner. It's a little buggy! Looking good! Oh, thank you, Sam. <laughs> it's a little buggy. The floors don't quite match up, but it's it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Okay. Some villagers have noticed your close bond with Alex. What did I do to make Alex like me? I don't know. Some villagers have noticed your blooming friendship with Haley. What did I do? Why do they like me? Oh, the spirits are very happy today. Greater than 0 0.7 luck. Bundle up, folks. It's going to snow tomorrow. Okay. All right. So it's going to snow tomorrow. Let's read our secrets. Oh. I found some good things by looking in the garbage cans on lucky days. Sometimes you'll find the dish of the day behind the saloon, usually fresh. For dessert, I'll check the Mulner's cans for cookies. And for treasures, check the cans by the blacksmith and museum. And last but not least, it's a page from Abigail's diary. Things I love. The smell of carved pumpkin. Keeping an amethyst under my pillow. You're magical, Abigail! Chocolate cake. The thrill of spicy eel. And the comfort of mom's blackberry cobbler. I like to eat. A girl after my own goddamn heart. Uh, figured I'd give you this recipe I had laying around. Try not to burn it. Signed, George. I love George. 
And I learned spicy eel. Gotta meet me at the saloon tonight after dark. Oh? Oh? Really now? I think we have a date tonight, everyone. I think we have a date tonight. Oh, Alex. Oh, interesting, Mr. Alex. Oh, oh shit, and all my jam just popped. Okay. Well, I was going to go into the mines, but if we have a date tonight, then, you know, maybe, uh... Maybe I need to get all primped and pretty for that. You know? Hon hon baguette, as it were. All right. Uh, let me grab... I have nine eggplant, one orange, and then I'll get started on the blackberries. All right, so the orange goes here. We'll do the eggplant here, 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 here. Here. And then one, two. Oh, no, I don't want to eat the eggplant, you fool. No, I don't want to eat the eggplant, you fool. Then the blackberries go in here. Okay. Okay. All right. Technically, it's also supposed to give me a new outdoor area for my partners, for each partner. But at the moment, the mod uh, is a little buggy and is overriding the outside areas. So I have to configure that somehow. Oh, good morning, Brisket. Good morning. Oh, can I not get... There we go. Grab this, grab this. Let's go bother our animals real quick. Um, and then... Oh, but it's a lucky day. I don't want to waste the mines on a lucky day. Well, I mean, we have a date with Alex, so of course it's a lucky day. Ho, ho, ho. Maybe we'll spend the day running around the forest, getting hardwood and whatnot. Uh, make use of the luck letting us get, uh, forage. Good morning! Good morning, everybody. How you doing, how now? And we, are you good? Alright. Let's grab this. Give me some milk. <gasps> you can't see it behind my character, but I got a large milk! I need that. Okay. Okay. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <gasps> if we get a large brown egg. If we get a large brown egg. Oh. Oh, please. Oh, please. No. No large brown eggs today. Just regular eggs. Okay. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the regular brown egg. And we're going to get this going. Uh, let's grab hay. Boop, 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 boop. Say hello to everyone. Hello, chickies. Hello, ducks. Okay, I just need... I just need a large brown egg. Please, I ask for so little in this life. Alright, duck egg. So we'll do... Here, duck egg there. Let's go sell a bunch of shit. Um, and then we can head down to the secret forest to see what we can do about getting some hardwood. We do have a large stump there, so I mean, technically. All right, so add to existing stores, organize. Add to existing stores, organize. Add to existing stores, organize. Let's keep the hoe, put the pickaxe, and the- hello? Did I? For some reason, the screen wibbled for a second, and I don't know if that was on my end or not. Um, but the void essence, we're gonna keep these. Um, I'm not planning on heading over to, uh, to Clint's anytime soon. Let's pull the ghost fish out. Put the geodes up. And I'll sell everything else. Okay, so sell all of this. There we go. Let's grab our axe. Uh, where is our axe? 
There it is. All right, let's grab our axe and let's uh, let's go foraging. Let's go foraging. Let's head out into the woods and go forage. It is dead silence at the moment. Um, I do have a um. Actually, can I break this yet? Winter root. Hold on. I did upgrade my steel pickaxe. I'm wasting valuable daylight hours just wibbly wobbling over my uh, my inventory here. Can I break this with a steel pickaxe? Let's find out. Can I break this? <gasps> I can break these! Ha ha! Ah, and there's the music. No, it's not strong enough for that. Oh well. But I can get rid of these fuckers. Thank God. Oh. Finally. Alright. Let's head over to the secret area and get some hardwood. Oh, hey, Jazz! One, two, three, four. Oh no, I messed up again! I love Jazz. I would die for that child. All right, into the secret woods. And let's see what we got. Oh right, there are monsters. I did not think this through. But it's fine, probably. It's fine, probably. All right, that's two hardwood. Got a book, got a winter root. Let's get some more from over here. That's two. That makes four. Six. Eight. I might actually get ten out of all this. Okay. Let's head into this area down here. And yeah, there's a slime, but whatever. Alright, so this will be ten hardwood. Huzzah! Let's make it twelve real quick. And get the heck out of Dodge. Alright! Okay, okay, alright. Not bad. We should be able to take this straight up to Robin and complete that, uh, that quiz. While we're here, though... Oh, Mr. Wizard! Mr. Rasmodius! How are you today? If you are looking for some kind of supernatural assistance with your farm work, I'm afraid this is the wrong place to be. Oh, come on, man. It isn't that there is nothing I can do. Rather, there is nothing I should do. Right? Right? Okay, well... Ugh. If you're gonna be a bore about it, what's the point of having phenomenal cosmic powers if you're worried about the morality of abusing them? Come on, man. Come on, man. And there goes Jazz. All right. Let's zippity doo our way up to Robin. She should still be in, I think. She should still be in. Uh, which will allow us to drop off the hardwood she needs. Doo 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 doo. Oh, there we are. I am so fucking ready for Christmas, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's early. Don't get me wrong. I completely understand. Even I went to Walmart last week and the entire gardening area is converted into Christmas already. And uh, even I was like, hey, this is a bit too soon. This is a bit too soon. At least wait for like the week of Halloween. Hey, have a nice walk. Thank you, I, I certainly did. I've always had a passion for building things, even when I was a kid. Sometimes I get a look from others about my hobbies. I just didn't let it bother me. 
Good for you. Good for you. Oh, you brought it! I know I can always count on you, Gata. Of course. Hmm. This wood is perfect. It's exactly what I need. Thanks. You are welcome. And I got hardwood. Amazing. Amazing. We got money, rather. Hello again, Sebastian. Mom's face lit up when I walked in. She deserves to be happy. I am glad. I'm glad you're spending time with your mother. Hi, Demetrius. Robin insists on hiking all the way down to Cinder Sap Forest to chop trees. She certainly knows what she likes. The hot spring area is much closer. And I measured that its trees decay a full tenth of a percent slower. But she still sticks to her reasons. Yep. Some people are illogical, Demetrius. I understand this is difficult for you. However, however, actually, is Maru around or is Maru working? Uh, Maru does not appear to be in her room. No, she must be working and then. Okay. I won't bother her. Maru and me are besties. Maru and me are besties. She's the greatest wingman a farmer could ever ask for. Uh, she helped me and her brother get together. Which is a little weird if you think about it too hard. But I mean, hey. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Alright, let's drop off some of these doodads. We have a ghost fish in the specialty fish bundle. Ghost fish. There we are. And then if we go back over to the animal bundle, um, we have a large milk to drop in. Okay. Large milk. If we can get a brown large egg, we'll get the greenhouse. And then, oh, and then blueberry season begins. <laughs> oh, fuck yes. Oh, is anybody in the treehouse? No, no one's in the treehouse right now. That's fine. Wait a minute. Okay, for a split second, I thought this right here was Freddy fucking Fazbear. And I was about to be like, you've got to be shitting me. Horror, 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 horror. All right. Oh, there's Maru. Hey, Maru. Hi, Gata. Hey, don't you think my stomach is kind of like you? The one outside your house? No, but okay. All right. Oh, and there's Dusty! Dusty, 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 Dusty. Hey, boy. Oh, I can't interact with you right now. That's a shame. It's bedtime. You're sleeping. Um, is anyone around? I have some time before my date. So I can just kind of, you know, just real sneaky, sneaky like. Oh, there's Gunther. Oh, hey, Clint! Somehow, the old town minecart system started working again. It's very convenient for getting to and from the mines. Don't get too cozy, though. If it can start up so suddenly, it could just as well shut down. Sure thing, Clint. There was definitely no magic involved at all. No magic involved at all. Uh, he said after 10, right? So if I go into the saloon early... Oh, oh, there is a cutscene! <gasps> Clint? F <laughs> Hello, Gata. Care to join me? Both... <laughs> Both Shane and Gus are looking the other way like, Oh, God damn it. Clint's put on his sad girl music again. He's being a wet little meow meow in the corner. Fucking hell. All right, whatever. Sure, sure thing, Clint. What? What's wrong? What's on your mind? Let me just go ahead and tell you what's on my mind. Okay. I have terrible luck with women, Gata. <sighs> Is it luck? Is it luck, Clint? <laughs> no, no. I'm a nice guy if you get to know me, I swear. I, it is taking everything in me. Every ounce 
of my willpower to keep a straight face in this moment. <laughs> yeah, sweat drop. Uh, the girls all seem to like you, gotta. Got any tips? Um, impress women with your strength and charm. Act crazy to keep people guessing. Just act natural. Be yourself. Or, and I cannot stress this enough. Hold on, I am going to clear the veg so you can all can see. The final option is treat women the same as men. Have you ever considered treating people like people and not objects, Clint? I understand, I'm, I'm trying to go slow for you. I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting my point across here. Have you... Oh fuck, I chose the wrong one. Oh. Oh no. I don't know which one I clicked on. Oh, this could be bad. What did I fucking say to him? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Oh no! Emily! I tried to get the waiter's attention by blinking in Morse code! <laughs> Hi Clint, what can I get for you tonight? Yes! Oh no. Er, uh, I mean, I'll have the big and cheesy with extra sauce, please. Um, Clint? Hi, Gata. Hi, Emily. Why are you blinking so much? Er, uh, <clears throat> th thanks, Emily, for taking my order. Uh, Emily, I was... I was wondering, I don't want to be here for this. I want to be anywhere else but here right now. Emily, do you see the fear in my eyes? Yes, Clint? Oh God, she has her ear pods in. She can't hear me. Oh God. Never mind. Oh. Hi, Shane. Here's your beverage. Thanks, Emily. That's, that, it's root beer. Don't worry, everyone. That is root beer. Ignore the Sprite. It's root beer. A nice, frothy cup of root beer. So, how's your shift coming along? It's fine. Thanks for asking, Shane. Do you have any new chicken stories for me? Oh, no wonder Emily and I are hitting it off so well. She likes chicken stories. <sighs> I'm doomed. Shane, uh, fucking, uh, Clint, have you ever consider- Clint? But I was just- But we were just- But you were just- It's fine. Oh, okay, here we go. Um... Thanks, Gus. That was great. Was it? This is nice. I've never dined in here before. Yeah? Yeah, Alex? Um, anyway, I- I reserved this private room so we could talk. Oh. I've got a linguine with mushroom cream sauce for Mr. Gata. Oh, thank you. And a grilled steak for Alex. Thanks. Thank you, Emily. Takes me out to a fancy dinner. <laughs> Buys the steak. I love this man. So what I wanted to say was... Alex, honey, you don't have to be so anxious about it. Well, when we first met, I was instantly drawn to you. It was confusing. 
I never felt the way about anyone. I have that magnetism about me, you see. I kept telling myself, you can't have these kinds of feelings for another guy. Um, oh. Oh, and then I married a guy. Alex, I am so... I have never been happier to have someone tell me that I was their gay awakening. It's weird that it happened twice. But my heart was telling me something else. Oh. Did you did you see the family I was forming and decide you want to be a part of it? Alex, was that it? I feel the same way, or I'm sorry, I know I feel the same way! I feel the same way! Holy shit! I dive across the table, grabbing his hands. I feel the same way! I can't believe it took this long to say that to each other. Yeah, uh, we were flirting pretty heavily for a while there. I was waiting for you to come around. Confesses his love, shoves his mouth. Oh, stink! Look at him! Mmm, ah! <laughs> this steak is outstanding. Can you smell that fragrant sauce? I... I love a himbo. Just... Oh, and there's Dusty! Hi, Dusty! <laughs> Steeples my fingers. Good, sir. We shall be married in the spring. Holy shit. God, okay. And that was... Let's see, where is... Yep, nope. We're at full hearts with Alex. We're at full hearts with Emily. We are at full hearts with Shane, Penny, and Maru. So we just have to wait for it to fucking rain so I can buy some seashells and then we can start getting people to move the fuck in. The, okay, we still need to get Haley. Papa, I have a fun fact I would like to tell you. Oh yeah? What's that? Did you know? Americans consume 8 billion chickens per year, which is more chicken than beef. At 80 pounds of chicken per capita compared to 63 pounds of beef per capita. That's a lot of fucking chicken. That is an insane amount of chicken, but thank you for telling me. Good evening, Willie. Willie? I need a little warm-me-up to be ready for another cold night on the ocean. Sure thing, Willie. And Harvey? Are you keeping busy in the winter, Gata? I hope you've got animals on the farm to occupy your time. Uh, that and the mines, of course. I like most animal products, just not cheap. Harvey doesn't like cheese? Are you insane, man? God's gift to humanity? Hey, Gata. Did you have a good weekend? I did have a good weekend. Be sure to stay warm, okay? Sure thing, Shane. Mwah. Kisses. Oh. Good. 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 Seriously, does no one but me see this? Does no one but me notice this? Hey, farmer. So I stopped by Pierre's the other day and bought a crocus. It was the first time I seen one of those here in a while. I cooked it up for dinner last night. It filled the house with a different odor. I don't even want to know where Pierre found that thing. Oops. Also, why the fuck were you cooking a crocus? My dude. Okay, everyone. It's time for our favorite, Hot Pam. Hey, kid. I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. Well, good news for you, Hot Pam. Can I, can I have a beer for my friend, Hot Pam? Thank you, Gus. And what else do you have? Coleslaw, radish. Yeah, a crocus. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure about that, but okay. Um, let's do the glazed yams, as that's like a, um, uh, a holiday dish. All right, hot Pam, hot Pam, hot Pam, ma'am, here you are. Oh, free booze? That's real kind of you. Now I gotta think about what I should eat with this. Heh, <laughs> you're welcome, Pam. Also, hello, Emily. Oh, Gata, how wonderful. 
Seeing your face just inspired me to design a new dress. Now I just have to channel that feeling into the fabric and see where it takes me. Aight. Alright, and that's everyone to say hello to in here today. Alright, uh, let's head home. Yeah, let's head home. And we'll go from there. We do have to drop off the forge we've collected. Is there anything extra up here we can grab real quick? God, if we can get a large brown egg in like a relatively short time frame, we can get started on blueberrying the shit out of our place. If we can get that greenhouse up and going, oh. That'll change the game. Change the whole damn game. So let's drop all of these. All right. Let's see, let's add to existing and organize. Pull this out, of course. All right, add to existing and organize. We have uh, various resources that I should be smelting up, actually. All right, put those back. Organize. I do have iridium ore. I'm holding on to this emerald for something, but I can't for the life of me recall why. It's probably fine, though. Um, the mead? Do we need the mead? Hold on, do we need the mead? Bulletin board. Is the mead... No, the mead is not needed for something. The fiddlehead fern sure is, though. Alright. Well, let's hit the hay. Let's pop into bed. Let's cuddle with all of our various attractive life partners. And, of course, brisket. Good night, everyone. How many... Oh, you know what? Actually, I think we're holding the emerald for the Feast of the Winter Star. I'm pretty certain we're holding on to the emerald for that specifically. Okay. Day 23. Happy Feast of the Winter Star Eve Eve. The game is taking a minute to load, however. Ah, pardon me. Who here has seen the new Animal Crossing Lego sets? All the images for them dropped just today, and it's like the one thing that I can think about. They look so fucking good. They're a little pricey, but they're licensed. So, like, that does check out. Oh, it's Leah's birthday, and then it is the Feast of the Winter Star. Okay, what is Leah like? What does Leah like? I don't recall what Leah likes. Good morning, Sam. What's on your agenda today? Gay. Uh... Oh no, leave it alone. Leave it alone. No, and it is snowing. It's gonna snow tomorrow as well. Good to know. Alright, what do we got here? Actually, I'm gonna take these out. Um, these should not be in there. These should be in here, where there is space for them, arguably. Um, what can I give Leah that they would appreciate? Don't actually know Leah's likes that well. Alright, we're gonna organize that. And check the mail. Hey, Gata. I was making room in my closet and came across these stylish boots. They would look perfect on you. From Haley. Aw, crystal shoes? Plus three defense, plus five immunity. Oh shit. These are just better than my than my current Firewalker boots. They look ridiculous though. <laughs> look at me! Oh my god, that looks hilarious. To the lovely Gata. Time with you is always so fun, but always overly short at the same time. Since I met you, I've run out of my little Polaroid, and I just can't get enough of the memories I have with you. I sometimes forget how long I lived in Pelican Town. 
I just remembered that the Polaroid film stopped being made a long time ago. Then you came to Stardew Valley, and I gradually remembered this slow-moving town and my own lazy life. Signed, Haley. Aww. Hey, I found this in a drawer somewhere. Thought you could use it. Pam, it's an entire flagon of beer. <laughs> an entire flagon of beer. All right, why not? Here's to you, hot Pam. There we go. And now I am slightly tipsy. <laughs> sure, hot Pam. Sure. I, I don't see why not. God damn. All right. I'm gonna hang on to these for a hot minute. Uh, just so I can swap them out. All right, let's go handle the animals and then see what we can do about getting something for Leia. I don't think we're gonna get another diamond anytime soon, uh, which is a shame. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, how now? Good morning, we. Um, I should probably know what I would need to do to upgrade the farm uh, in order to uh, get an auto feeder going. Another large milk. Up there. Moo to you too, we. Moo to you too. Alright. Do we have a large brown egg? No. We have a large white egg and a small brown egg. And that will have to do. Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Let's get some more hay for them. All right. Pierre Jr. is only at half a heart. Henberta is at two and a half. Janika is at one. Uanita, I believe Uanita is the one who's been laying the, um, uh, the large eggs. So I think we have to get Pierre Jr. up to three hearts before we'll start seeing some large eggs. So it'll be a minute. But we can do it. I believe in myself. I believe in us and our farming abilities. Uh, that's all the eggs we have. All right, let's sell these out. Let's sell these out. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Worm. Aha! Beautiful, wonderful, delicious worm. Okay. Alright, there we are. Um, let's head into town. Let's collect our geodes. I know we have a couple of them that we can probably break open. Uh, here's one. I knew I had one here somewhere. And then over here, we have Omni Geode and Magma Geode. What should we upgrade? Can I upgrade my hoe? I think I can upgrade my hoe, which would be a smart thing to do in these uh, in these winter months. Let's bring the iron bar and the gold bar and just see, just see what we can upgrade. Um, ooh, the watering can could probably be upgraded actually. The watering can would probably be a good idea. Let's see how I feel. Oh, good morning, Pam. Good morning. You seen anything strange around town today? I haven't been around town. Sometimes I think I see something dark and spooky moving through the trees. Well, don't fucking tell me that. Christ on a bike, Pam. All right, let's head to town. Oh, a cutscene. Oh, what's wrong? Miss Penny. The cover fell off my math book. Let me see. Oh no, your books are falling apart. They're just too old. <sighs> but new books are expensive, so we'll just have to make do with what we have. Oh no. 
Does this mean I don't have to do my homework? N no, Vincent, that's not what it means. That's funny. That's funny. Vincent, like, holy shit! This is the best thing ever. All right, process geodes. What is that? Hematite. A fairy stone. And a rock. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Um, upgrade tools. I can get a steel watering can. The gold is... I'm, too, I'm, I'm priced out. I'm terribly priced out. Um, okay. So I think... Um, I am going to do the watering can. Yeah, thanks. I'll get started on this as soon as I can. Be ready in a couple of days. Thank you, Clint. Thank you, thank you. And now let's dip into the museum and see if we can't knock anything out for it. Oh. Oh, there's Sam. Can't see. Oh, chat's in the way. God damn it. Hold on. Yoop. There we go. Uh. Uh. What's happening? What's going on? I don't understand. They just silently nod at each other like bros? Oh. Hello, Penny. How are Vincent and Jazz doing? Hello, Sam. We were doing some math exercises. Oh no, poor Vincent is there. Like, Razor Frazza math, Razor Frazza adding, Razor Frazza. What brings you here today? Well, I've been having a creative block. And I was hoping to find some books about my favorite band, Paradise Horizon, to inspire me. Do they make books about bands? Wouldn't you just Google it on the internet? I've asked Gunther, but he doesn't seem to have heard of them. They must be too niche. Did you say Paradise Horizon? I love them! Penny confirmed good music taste haver. Their last album was incredible! <gasps> Whoa! You like them, Penny? I never would have imagined it. Why does everyone assume that Penny has no fucking hobbies? First the manga, now this. I can help you if you want. There are a couple of interesting books about them. There are? Just a moment, Sam. Vincent, Jazz, finish exercises five and eight. I'm going to help Sam, and then we'll go over them, okay? The kids are like, okay. Come with me. I have a lot of books to read. <laughs> Aw. How cute. How cute. Cannot wait to add Penny to my commune. All right. Howdy, Gunther. Donate to museum. Yep, the hematite can be donated. Where we're working on this table down here, so I'm just going to go ahead and plop. No reward yet. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, I moved it by accident. Stop that. All right, we're done. We're done. Look at all these chickens. Look at all these chickens. Look at all this shit. Look at all of this. I think this is actually the most I've managed to donate to a museum in any playthrough. I am on fire. I've never actually seen the, uh, the end. Oh, hello. Saw something weird in the tunnel leading out from Pelican Town. There's a little door hidden in the dark. Couldn't get it open though. Gunther. Secrets of the Legendary Fish. Uh, I don't particularly care about that. 
Technology report, crystallarium. Okay, don't care. Don't care. We'll read more things later. All right. Now with that out of the way, I say we zip over to the quarry and see if we can't find something fancy. I don't know if anything fancy will appear, but maybe we can get a jewel of some sort that we can give to Leia. But it looks like it's all just rock. It's all just rock. Alas. Alas, it is fine. Alas, it is only rock. Nothing. Iron ore out of that. Anything fancy, fanciful, and fun in this deep, dark, scary cave? There's a slime. Don't particularly want the slime. Nope. An Omni Geode. Okay. Oop, 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 oop. This guy is fast as fuck, boy. He's fast as fuck, boy. Nothing in that. Nope, come on. Hit the barrel. Some more geodes. Nah, I'm leaving. Nope. Not for me. Just thought about it. Tried it. Wasn't my style. Hi. Ouch. Bye. Alright, we're leaving. We're leaving. I will attempt to give her this stone. And we'll call it good. That'll just have to be the end of it. Leaving the mine. We're going. We're getting. We're getting while the getting's good. All right, let's use the minecart real quick, like. Let's go to the bus stop. There's Pam. Good morning, Pam. Oh, you already talked to you, actually. We need to go find Leia. Where is Leia? She is at home. All right. Oh, and Demetrius is in the caves. Neato burrito. There we are. And we'll leave that where it is. We'll pop. Well, let's just do this. Add to existing stores. Organize. All right. Let's go deliver this fairy stone to Leah and hope she likes it. And hope she likes it. Some regular stones. Oh, more worms. Clay. Oh, Leah! Oh, Leah, 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 Leah! Happy birthday, Leah! Got something for you. Worms. Leah! Can I come in? <gasps> Cutscene! Oh, hi, Gata! Come in, come in! This is actually really cozy. I'm just working on the sculpture here. Come here, watch this. Okay, absolutely. Show me how you do. See that? I'm revealing the essence of the wood. I don't get it, but okay. Once you get past the outer layers, the true nature starts to show. Uh, it's the same with people. I actually prefer the look of raw, unadulterated wood. And then, in parentheses, creepy, may I have the, a kiss? No. Uh, similar, it's the same with people. What? Oh, yeah, that's absolutely right. You hadn't considered that, had you? I first visited this valley as a little girl while on vacation with my parents. I knew I had to come back someday. This place has great artistic potential. Although, I have to admit, it's not easy to pay the bills as an artist. That's okay. Simply join my commune. 
uh, why don't you have an art show in town? Or why don't you sell your art on the internet? Hmm. The art show feels like the right thing for her, but the internet one is more, you know? Hmm. I guess that's an idea, but I need a computer first. Do you, do you not have a computer? And again, that's expensive. I guess I just automatically assumed. Well, it was nice of you to visit. Yeah, that was the wrong option. That was the wrong option. I fucked it up. Oh. Kel, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to come back to the city. Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Click. Um. Hey, you good? I heard yelling? Gotta! So I guess you heard me yelling on the phone. A little bit, yeah? But like, it's fine. I'm not gonna, pr I'm not gonna pry. Wait, are you good? That was my ex. Oh no. Oh no. I guess I better tell you a little about it. We had an apartment together back in the city. I did odd jobs during the day and spent all night working on art projects. We barely made enough to scrape by. He was always nagging me to go back to school and study business or medicine. Something with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life. You know, a house in the suburbs, kids, PTA meetings, that sort of thing. Hmm. I wasn't ready for that kind of life, Gata. I had to leave. So I came here to pursue my dream of being an artist. Was that selfish of me? Gotta? Um, okay, so first of all, the ex is fucking treating her like a source of income. And I understand things are tough, but oh my god. And if their entire idea was of saving money for a very specific kind of lifestyle that she, uh, was not into, then that was a mismatch in their, uh, in their requirements and boundaries. So, honestly, it's good they broke up. No, it had to be done. No, and your ex is like an idiot. Or, no, but she would have been better off staying in the city. No, and your ex sounds like an idiot. That's a little harsh, but yeah, we had different priorities. No, they're an idiot for assuming that you would fit into their cookie cutter lifestyle. So I've been saving up money for to buy a computer, you know, so I can try and sell my art online, like you suggested. Oh yeah. It's good to have a friend looking out for you. I'm glad. Okay. Can I please enter this house to give her this birthday gift or are we just speed running the entire relationship? Thank God. Hello. Hi, Leah. Did you find out who your secret gift giver is for the Feast of the Winter Star yet, Gata? Honestly, since I know so few people well here, it would be pretty convenient if we got one another, don't you think? Gulp. But no. Oh, it's for my birthday? Thanks. Oh, did she not like it? Oh, she didn't like it. Oh, no. Oh, no, I feel bad now. I'm sorry. I thought it was pretty and purple and oh, no, I fucked it up. I fu I ruined her birthday. Cannot believe this. I can't believe I've done this. Well, you can't win them all. You can't fucking win them all. All right. So. Let us head back up and get some more of these, uh, get some more of these gold bars smelting. I feel like I'm doing busy work, for the most part. I'm at that point where I'm just waiting for winter to be over. It's not bad, and I am still enjoying myself, but also, like, you know? It's like, come on, let me plant things. I wish to plant things. I wish to, I wish to perform the manual labors. 
Um, let me actually pull all of this stuff out. And then come over here. Uh, grab these as well. Just kind of combine stuff, you know? All right, let us add to existing stacks. All right, and then we're gonna organize. That looks pretty nice, I think. Um, but we are gonna take out the the fertilizers. The fertilizers can go elsewhere. And the seeds. All right. Fertilizers we'll put over here. Cause these are all the, uh, these are all the crop whatnots. Um, and yeah, I think that's gonna have to do. What do I have on my person? I have the greatest magnet ring and the glowstone ring. Okay. Those can just stay where they are. Alrighty then. It's 4.20 p.m. Blaze it. And I guess now we fish. I guess now we fish. Let's head down to the ocean and see about doing some fishing. It's a quiet morning here on the stream. It's a quiet day. And we can get some winter fish, some winter ocean fish. If, hello? Oh, Vincent! Hey, buddy. Happy Tuesday. I built a block tower yesterday that was even taller than my brother. Good job, man. I had to stand on a stool to make it. I am so proud of you. Was it wider than your brother too or just taller? Just taller? Dang, that's a really tall block tower. Good job, man. Good job. I love the kids in this town so much. So, 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 so much. All right. Zip down this way. Oh? Oh, hey, Willie. Where are you going? You really can't beat wild-caught fish when it comes to taste and nutrition. People who live too far inland don't really know what they're missing. I honestly agree with that. Honestly. Having raised farm fresh eggs, uh, there's just something, something about. I can't hear anything because I'm in a meeting. Hi, Tegan. Pull Hello. up a chair and get Hi. comfy. Tony Morgan. Hello, Tegan. Hello. I love you. Tegan can't hear me, but that's fine. We're fishing, Tegan. Against my better judgment. We're fucking fishing. Come on. Come on, fish. There we go. I got a fish. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Shit. Fuck. God damn it. Got his little VTuber look, please. So I think the answer was yes, amazing. Yay, Tegan. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Welcome in, everybody. Fish, 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 fish. Fish, fish, fish. Fish, fish, fish. I caught a herring. I'll take it. At least it's not red. If you're wondering, Gata, why are you fishing? Uh, we're fishing because it's nearing the end of winter and we still haven't caught a fucking squid. Um, so even though... Whoa, 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 whoa. So even though the chances of me, of, uh me getting a squid are very low. I can at least raise my fishing stat a little bit. Jun says, good, uh, Jun underscore Monday says, good morning, I September 12 hours. Congratulations. It is, however, October, so I feel like the speedy ones are probably squids. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree. The ones that I have no chance of actually catching are definitely the squids. An albacore. They are absolutely the squids. I am outclassed in every possible way when it comes to these goddamn things, but 
I will try. I will persevere. Worst case scenario, eventually I'll be able to buy one. Fingers fucking crossed. Come on. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Give me a fish. September 12 hours indeed. Oh, there we go. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, 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 I had no fucking chance. Why are they like this? Time to start vacuuming. Bye, Susie. I'm sorry. Good luck with your fish quest. Thank you. I will need it. I will fucking need it. No, 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 no. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Yes! Uh, so proud of Gata, but you only raise your stats when you get one, I think. Oh. Wait a minute, that's a halibut. Do I need a halibut? Wait, I think I need a halibut. I do need a clam. So that's something. I do not need a halibut. I, I was incorrect. I do not require a halibut. <gasps> one more go. Just one more go. I hate fishing so much. So what I should be doing is uh, doing lake fishing to raise my stats. Whoops. Come on. Come on, fish. Come on, nope, no, fish. Stay with me now. Stay with me now, fish. Fuck. Fish. Come on. Fish. No. Stay in place. I'm fighting for my fucking life. Another halibut. I'll take it. All right. Okay. That's enough for now. Um, I will gather up the detrius, detritus over here. Ooh, glass shards. Don't need that, but hey. Just has a handful of glass shards. All right, grab you, grab you, grab you. And then we'll head home. Then we'll head home. All right. Oh, hey, Shane. I know I can't pretend that I'm not depressed because I am, as you are. I also know that I can't pretend that all I needed to do was talk to a friend. I'm proud of you, dude. But I'm lucky. Some people don't have access to a formal professional help. So, thanks for looking out for me, Gata. Of course, man. Of course. Move into my house. Move into my house. Oh, I'm gonna have Marnie as an in-law. Oh, I'm gonna have more reasons to shit on Mayor Lewis for not fucking marrying Marnie. Oh, God. I'm going to have Mayor Lewis as an in-law if I convince him to marry Marnie like he, so like he should. God fucking damn it. Um, put that on there. I need to keep that. Oh, this is actually an artifact. Julio. Let me grab the coal. Uh, gold, 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 gold. And then drop it all off. Sort. Okay. 
Let me in. Tomorrow, I will go do some lake fishing. And uh, we'll go from there. Oh, let's not have Marnie Mary Lewis in that case. Well, ugh. at the very least, I'll be able... God damn, I, I made in-laws of both Demetrius and Lewis. Fuck me. But hey, my fishing... Oh, I have a crab pot. Ooh, I have a crab pot. Oh, I have a crab pot. Okay, okay, all right, okay. Okay, I'll take that. So I can start getting stuff for the crab pots. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, so the game, okay, 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 okay. So new plan, craft a crab pot, get a bunch of bait, put a bunch of crab pots out, and then lake fish. Um, yeah, that's the plan. I hate that literally on the eve of the feast of the winter star, I'm fucking fishing. Now you can pot crabs. That is true. That is true. Good morning. I hope you don't mind the guinea pig smell. Of course not. Never, 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 never. I'm debating whether I should work or just read comics all day. Fair enough. All right, and Sam is still asleep. That's fine. All right, step one, crab pot. Where is, all right, so the bait requires bug meat, which I don't have any. Um, ooh, wild bait uses bug meat, fiber, and slime. Okay, here's the crab pot. Needs wood and iron bar. I should be able to make that, actually. Uh, let's see. I have six iron bars, but I can get at least one more. Yeah, just one more. Uh, let's grab the gold out here. There we are. Pop those back in. Um, what was the other thing I needed? Wood? I should have plenty of wood. Alright, let's see how many crab pots we can make. Ooh, literally just two. Place it in the water, load it with bait, and check the next day to see if you've caught anything. Works in streams, lakes, and the ocean. Okay. So we're gonna go to the ocean, I think. Do I have any bug meat? No, I've used it all. God damn. That's fine. Uh, I have high luck. It's gonna be sunny tomorrow. And I learned how to make trout soup. Uh, dear Gata, when I was a little girl, I loved the Feast of the Winter Star. It wasn't just because I could eat the kind of cooking I wouldn't normally dare to hope for at the holidays, but also my obsession with the Feast of the Winter Star tree hung with colored lights and ornaments. By the way, secret friends are always full of surprises too. In recent years, that Feast of the Winter Star tree has gotten prettier and prettier, and the holiday spirit has grown with it. I would love to go under the tree with you and rummage through the presents. Love you, Penny. Aw, Penny. Pelican Town, Farm 1 West. Gotta. According to my research, the winter star that Pelican Town residents refer to would be Iridium. The metal is not yet as abundant in the Earth's crust as it is in meteorites, and the amount of Iridium present in the mines of Stardew Valley is really small although the element seems to have affected the ecology around the town in some magical way. Judging from the crops on your farm, the higher quality of the vegetables, the higher the iridium content seems to be, within the range of what is safe for humans, of course. I haven't yet figured out exactly what this element does to the growth of the crops, but I have found that it is also has a certain effect on the human mind, a feeling like being happier when you receive an elaborate gift, although I suspect this is actually some sort of hallucinatory effect from the iridium element. I don't think I've told you yet. The origin of the name Iridium actually comes from the shape of the irregular meteorite that landed in the Stardew Valley, looking like the traditional five-pointed star. Pelican Town, Mountain Road 1, Robin Shop, Maru. Interesting. People eat Iridium? I think that she's saying is that the Iridium in the soil has like a, a, an effect on the quality of the crops and vice versa, which is very interesting. What is this lore? For my little farmer. What's... 
Feast of the Winter Star, like in town. When it's time for the Winter Star Feast, the whole town gathers in the town center square to exchange gifts, talk or dance, and sing under the feast tree. If you're hungry, there's grilled fish and pumpkin soup, and if you're thirsty, there's light beer and corn juice. Joy is always the main theme of this festival. I wonder how that festival tree, so beautifully dressed, your good si- I have a sister?! Huh?! Hold on! I knew I had a mom and a dad, this is the first time that I've ever- Huh? What? No, they don't eat the meteor. The Feast of the Winter Star was started because the first meteor was star-shaped. To my beloved farmer, from Shane. Huh, let me sneeze. Huh. Huh. No? Achoo! There we go. Jesus. Tomorrow is the Winter Row Feast. Gotta hope hope to meet you. Come up to mine and Marnie's side of the festival. Just in time for the crowds to be a bit lively. Signed, Shane. Gotta. Tomorrow is the Winter Star Feast. Don't forget to go to the feast. Evelyn and George are kind of looking forward to meeting you. It's still quite cold. Don't forget to wear warm clothes. Signed, Alex. Oh, everyone's going to send me an email about this. Hi. How are you doing? I hope you enjoy the gift I've sent you. Well, goodbye, doodle of a potato man on a skateboard from Emily. Thanks, Emily? Question mark? Dear Gata, tomorrow is the Feast of the Winter Star. Did you get a gift for your secret friend, Juliet? The feast starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you then, Mayor Lewis. I thought you were tearing up from Shane addressing you as my little farmer, which honestly me too. No, I I just had a sneeze. Uh, yes, we have an emerald for for Juliet. We have an emerald to give Juliet, and it'll be great. She'll love it. I hope. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Leia didn't like the gift that I got her, so maybe I'm just bad at giving gifts. Who is? Ju who is Juliet? What do you mean? What do you mean, who is Juliet? Juliet! That character who everybody knows. Juliet? Uh, the person who is in Vanilla Stardew Valley? I can't believe you don't know Juliet. Uh, Jesse and Juliet are the two, um, clerks at Joja. Uh, and there's a mod that gives them dialogue and makes them be, like, actual characters in the game. So, yeah. <laughs> Gotta, oh my god. They're, they're, they're canon! They're real! They just don't have personalities in the base game, so I expanded on it. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. So, step one, hello? A fucking, a whole ass Nautilus shell. Holy shit, don't I need this? Some, yeah. Fucking, fucking Demetrius wants a chub and a Nautilus shell. Holy shit. Holy shit, well, okay. I'm not gonna complain. I just wasn't expecting to find it on the fucking seashore. There's two of them. Holy fuck. I Okay. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. First of all, uh, we are gonna go bother Willy. We're gonna go bother Willy. We're gonna buy some bait from the man. We're gonna put our crab pots down and stuff them full. And then just find- go back to the little lake and fish. Hello, Willy. Alright. Bait. Uh, oh, actually I can buy crab pots here. Um, welcome back, Lul. Welcome back. All right, let's do a shit ton of bait. Okay. No, I'm kidding. 
And while we're here, I do want to double check. What do I need to... You saw that, right? I need... 200 pieces of hardwood. Fuck, that'll take a while. Alright, so we are going to put one here and here. And then, how do I put bait in them? Okay. So we can only put one piece of bait in at a time? That's not great. Oh, I should. I. I almost. Almost went in to spend the rest of my money on more crab pots, but then remembered, oh wait, there's a festival tomorrow. I'm gonna want some money. Um, hey Jazz. Can I tell you a secret? Mayor Lewis is kind of weird. I, I bend down and I whisper in her ear, says, Oh, that's not much of a secret. I think so too. He's nice too, but I don't know. It's hard to explain. I say, well, the truth is, the, tr the truth is, Jazz, that Mayor Lewis really likes your Aunt Marnie. And when boys really like girls, they can be really weird. All right, so. There we go. Put 200 bait on that. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. 398, mate. Mate, bait. And let's fish. Let's fucking fish. Fishing it is. Well, okay. Oh. I did not intend to do that. If anyone tries to cross this bridge, I just have to be like, no, no, hold on. I'm fishing here. You have to wait. You have to wait. Okay. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Okay. Fish. Come here. No. Get back here. You shithead. No. God damn it. Fuck. Fish, 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 fish. Fish, 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 Oh, why am I so bad at this? Ah! I haven't caught a single river fish. Why are you so... Why are you like this? Stay fucking still. Ah! I'm gonna- I'm losing my goddamn mind. Yes, stay in one space. Stay in one spot. There we go. I got a perch. I did it. That- that was the wrong way. I caught a single fish. I'm proud of me. I did it. I did it, everyone. Fucking hell. Whoa! 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 What the fuck was that? It took off like a bullet! I had no chance of that. What the hell? Come on. Okay, all right, this is gonna be another perch, and I'm not upset about that. Come on, no, 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 get back here. Get back here. Stop it. There we go. All right, another perch. They're both just basic perches. I can take that. Oh. <sighs> God give me strength, because clearly it won't give me the prowess to catch fish. Oh my god, you slippery little sucker! 
All right. Um, I think I'm going to head into Cinder Sap and uh, go fish the lake for a little bit. I'm going to go fish at the lake. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. Surely this will be a, a better experience for me. Oh shit, really? No, come here, come here. Fuck. Come here. Fuck. Come on. Fighting for my life here. Shit. God damn it. I hate my life. It's fine. Just nice and calm and relaxing. Just doing some fishing. Just waiting. Just thriving. Just vibing. Relaxing. Taking my time. Oh shit! That's a chub! That's a fucking chub! We need that for Demetrius! Actually, I think we need two chubs? Let me get another chub. Let me see if I can't get another chub, and then I'll check. I think this is also a chub. Yes, then it goes up a little bit. It wiggles a little. Come on. You're a chub, I know, but hey. Okay. Um, fish tank. No, we don't need... a chub. Okay, no, we're good. The, ch the chubs are fine. We just need them for Demetrius. Um, I actually... Do I... You're doing so good at fishing, yay. Thank you, thank you, Jen. Thank you. I'm glad you're proud of me. Um, let me zip up to, to the, um, uh... To the community center and drop off some of these things. Cause I have a I have a couple of things to drop off now. Well, hey, worms, snowy am. We have a thing, a couple of things to drop off, and I could zip up to the lake up there for additional fishing. A fishing addition? Is that anything? No. Okay. All right, 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 okay, okay, all right, okay. So step one, we need the field research bundle, the nautilus shell, and a chub, and we did it. We now have a recycling machine turns fishing trash into resources. Okay, okay, that's useful. Um, all right. Okay, still need those apples. We still need that pomegranate. And then over here, we have the crab pot bundle. We can put this in there. And that appears to be it for right now. All right, we don't have any other. We have a perch and we have a chub. So I think everything else is fine. Okay. All right, that's good. In that case, allow us to zip over to the lake up here 
and we will uh, do a little bit of fishing in that area. We'll do a little fishing over there. We'll do a little fishing up here. We'll do a little... There we go. Lots of worms out today. A rusty cog. Interesting. That's new. All right. Why does God hate me so? What have I done to draw his ire? Fish, 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 fish. Fish, 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 stay in place. Fish, 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 don't go anywhere, fish, fish, fish. Ooh, a largemouth bass. Don't mind if I do. Oh, fish, fish, fish. Ooh, 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 this one's a little testier. This one's a little spicier. I say as it stays in one spot. Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Another largemouth bass. Oh, ho! Oop, 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 oop. Oop, 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 oop. God damn it. Fish, please. There we go. A chub! Huzzah. The more I fish, the better I'll get at fishing. The more I fish, the better I'll get at fishing. Oh, did Biku Bot break again? Hold on, Aya. Howdy, trash baby Aya. Uh, grab yourself a, a stack of hay. Uh, the farmer's about to do something really stupid. Does that make up for it? Does that help? Hiya! Welcome in, welcome in. Let me refresh Biku Bot real quick. That would explain why Henbert's been very quiet lately, actually. Love it when the farmer does something stupid. Well, okay. I'm I'm glad, Tegan. I'm glad. Welcome in, welcome in. We are fishing. We are doing lots of fishing in the hopes uh, that we can catch a squid before the end of winter. And you're probably thinking, God, if you're trying to hit a squid, why are you in the lake? Well, I have been informed uh, that apparently uh, your fishing rank only goes up for catching new kinds of fish. So we've moved to the lake. It's Christmas Eve and you're catching squid. We wish you a very squid miss. We wish you a very squid miss. Ooh, I'll take that. I'll take that. So yeah, we've been doing river fishing, we've been doing some lake fishing, trying to increase our fishing rank so we have a goddamn cat chance of catching a squid before winter ends. It's been going... not swimmingly. Uh... in a waterlogged fashion? Have you ever seen, um, have you ever seen images of kittens that, like, get lost in the sauce and come up covered in milk? That's the vibe that I am experiencing right now with this. I have dove face first into this and just fucking, just fucking, I have to live with it. Oh, it's not new kinds, it's just catching fish. Well, now, hold on. I fucking moved up here because, you know what, it's, it's fine, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's catch one more fish and then we'll go home. One more fish and then we will go home for the evening. Oh, 
a perch. Amazing. Amazing. Fantastic. Oh, an ancient doll. I look at it and it's like a stretch Armstrong from the 90s and I'm like, now hold on. Hold on. Define ancient. Are you ready for spooky chocolate game? Um, yes and no. Should I get spooky chocolate game? I don't know yet. I am ha I I'm I am happy to support Concerned Apes new game. I will not know until I've seen it played whether or not it is a game for me. Also, and this is just a me thing personally. This has nothing to do with the quality of the game. Um I have a psychological reaction <laughs> to chocolate in video games, not enough that it's like painful or hurtful but it is a smidge uncomfortable uh for me when it's just like one and done references to chocolate in games uh it's fine but an entire game surrounded around it yeah no it's very it's, it's psychosomatic it's psychosomatic um and it's, it never really comes up to the point where i worry about it and need to bring it up you know um this needs to be donated. This can be sold. Um, just, just double checking one last time. The largemouth bass, the lake fish. No, we've already put the lake. Okay, that's a carp. That's a bullhead. That's a perch. Okay, so I know for a fact that I can sell all these fish. Uh, donate that. And the green algae is useful. Sell the coral, sell the perch. All of these have to be donated. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's, it's entirely psychosomatic, which is fascinating, um, but also kind of like, uh, it, it's kind of a problem. Looking at all those sprinklers. We have so many sprinklers. We are so close. We are a brown egg away from that greenhouse. We are one large brown egg away from getting that greenhouse, Tegan. We are so fucking close, it's not even funny. Oh, also, I should probably... Oh, I can't eat... Oh, okay. Doesn't count that as trash. I demand the greenhouse. Good night, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Feast of the Winter Star. Having never- OH LOOK IT'S SANTA! THERE'S SANTA CLAUS! LOOK AT HIM GO! Ah! I LOVE CHRISTMAS! Okay, I'm- I'm over. I'm normal again. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And God, I didn't use his excited face. I was too busy physically motioning with my hands. Put it on and redo that. Fucking! Oh, what? My keybinds aren't working! <laughs> My keybinds have stopped working! Why? They worked fine earlier! What happened? No, the keybinds worked! You saw me using them! Tegan, Tegan, when you were in your meeting, you saw my face changing. What happened? Oh, wait, they're back! What happened? What was eating my keybinds? Huh? I I don't know. I don't fucking know. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's the feast of the winter star. Good morning. Something, some, pro, you know what? Probably Stardew Valley, while it was trying to load, was just consuming my keybinds. Um, I don't think it's a great explanation but it's an explanation all right here is the emerald here's our gift for the feast of the winter star gotta has the longest house it's gonna get longer i haven't even finished upgrading it we have an entire second story in a basement to put in all right this over here all right let's check the newspaper the spirits are annoyed yikes it's gonna snow tomorrow uh 
Don't go through people's trash. Hello there, dear. I hope your farm is doing well. I'm sending you a little something from my kitchen. I hope it didn't crumble in the mail. Signed, Evelyn. Evelyn sent us Christmas cookies. Aw, thank you, Evelyn. And I do need to pull out the blackberries. The win winter cannot end soon enough. We are unironically running out of crops to uh, handle like so. We're, we're getting down to the wire here. All right. While we're waiting for uh, the feast to begin, let's put these guys up here. Uh, put that there. Put this up there. All right. As well as any of this stuff. We don't need any of this. We don't need any of this. Let's go bother our aminals. Let's go say hello. Let's go uh, get this ticket. The game crashed. Um. Hmm. Well. I, I, I guess I'll just have to reload it and um yeah we'll just we'll just take care of that real quick and it'll be fine and uh it'll be uh okay all right no it's it's fine it's fine i can work with this i can uh rip y yeah Rip, 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 <laughs> It's totally, totally planned. Just kind of, uh, load it up there and, uh, I don't really know what made it crash because the entire, uh, smappy console went down with it. Loading, 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 loading. Loading, 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 L loading. So, um, how's, uh, how's Monday treating you? You guys doing good? You guys, uh, you guys having a, you having a good, good day? Ha happy Monday, <laughs> happy Monday, everyone. Great day, yeah. Um, I need to... There we go. Gotta, it's Tuesday. Fuck! <laughs> you scared me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man at least i didn't wish say are you guys having a good weekend are you having a good friday god it's tuesday <laughs> oh no listen listen i don't i don't i don't have it's fine don't worry about it Listen, it's fine. It is. It's fine. Don't worry about it. The good news is the game saved. Immediately unsubscribe. No, Susie, come back. It, I have a dentist appointment. Oh, no. Your chompers. You're going to go see someone? going to go look at your chompers? I'm so sorry for you. Whatever you do, don't eat the metal implements. They need those. Um. Okay. Uh. Uh. Where were we? Right. Merry Christmas, everyone. Mer Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, we got cookies. Christmas cookies from Evelyn. Yay! That's a rock. Merry Christmas. Mer Mer Merry Cry Merry Chrysler. Mer, 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 Merry Krimbus, Mer, Mer. Happy Honda days. 
All right. Uh, let's put all these in to here. We want to grab the emerald for Julie. We want to put all of these in here for storage purposes. Aren't you excited to experience Christmas again for the first time, Gata? But why aren't your games working? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go bother our cows. Oh, hey, Brisket. Happy we Feast of the Winter Star. Salmon berry and a blackberry. Not bad, not too shabby. All right, hello, 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 hello. We looks very happy. How does how now look? Oh, I can milk both of them now. Amazing. Hello, how now. Thank you. And hello, we. Happy Honda days. Uh, let's go ahead and get all four. I'm feeding them. I'm feeding them. Simmer down. Um, allow pregnancy. Oh. And now for the chimkins. And now for the chimkins and the dumps. Uh oh, did I forget to feed them yesterday? I couldn't have. I am so sorry, everyone. Oh, they're mad at me. They're big mad at me. They're angry. They are angry. I thought for sure I fed them, though. I thought for sure I fed them. Okay. I'm sorry! They'll be okay, though. They'll be fine. It'll be... It will be all right. All right, so this, this, this. Put the extra egg in here. And we'll sell everything else. All right, and we're just in time. It's all... The, the Feast of the Winter Star has begun in the town square. Hot damn. Hot diggity damn. All right, grab this. Grab the iridium. Let's get the iridium smelting. Grab some more coal. Some gold, rather. Drop these up. Drop that up. Drop this up. Don't need it right now. Sell all of these things. All right. Okay. How are you going to get a big brown egg if you starve them? I don't mean to starve them. It's fine. It's fine. <gasps> it's here. It's the Feast of the Winter Star! Oh, happy day. Hello, Marnie. Look at her outfit. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. Hey, Lewis. Today is a time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for a day and relax. <gasps> jazz, 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 jazz. Ooh, presents. Happy Feast of the Winter Star. Hey, Pam. Hey, Penny. Huh. I'm still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. You'll get them next year, Pam. You'll get them next year. At least you did better than me. Got a happy Feast of the Winter Star. Let's see. The things I'm most grateful for are Jas and Vincent. That things are going with, with my mom well. And, of course, you. Well, of course you. Aw, thanks, Penny. Hey, Gunther. Hey, Gata. How lovely to see you at the festival. I hope you enjoy it. And Willie, Willie and Marlon. Hi. I put my arm on both of them. How are two of my favorite folks? Marlon's like, get off of me. Do you want to hear the legend of the Winter Star? Yes, I do! In the night sky of winter, there is a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. 
They believed that anyone who laid eyes on the Winter Star would be blessed with good fortune. Some even claim that the mysterious fruit known as the Star Drop is connected to the Winter Star in some way. That's really neato! Hey, good afternoon. That's all you gotta say, Marlin? Come on, come on. All right, hold on. Everyone else, shut up. Everyone else, I'll talk to you in time. Everyone else, out of my way. Pierre. Pierre, my good bitch. What do you have for me? Oh, he has so many good things and I don't have near enough money. Oh, I don't have near enough money for all of this. Log panels? I can put log paneling? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. How am I supposed to choose? Okay. Um. Um. Okay. I think I need to buy an ornate window. I need the large red rug. Uh, do I get the wood panel or the log panel? I think I want to get wood panels. Three, two, three, four. Let's do five. Okay. All right. Uh, the manicured pine, and then up here we have the the small pine. Um. I'm gonna get one winter banner. And then, do I get the light strings? I want the light strings. Oh, with the house plants. Ugh, okay. Small pine, house plants, and if I have enough, I'll get. Oh, I have just enough for a manicured pine. Oh. Well, that'll have to do. Well, hello there, Juliet. Give Juliet her secret gift. Not yet. Not yet. I want to talk to everyone else first. Oh, I've had too much nog. That is, in fact, a danger. Having too much nog. Hey, Shane. Gotta, I want you to know that the thing I'm most grateful for is you. You've gotten me through so much, and you understood and stayed with me through the ups and downs. Thank you. Shane. Gives him a big old bear hug. Shane! Happy Honda days to you, too. Hi, Clint. <sighs> All these happy families. But for me, just another lonely year. I'm gonna get drunk on Nog, just so I can come slur drunkingly in this guy's ear, but what a little bitch he is. I'm gonna ruin Christmas for this man. Hello, Gus. It's a fine art making candy canes. You've really gotta search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. I agree. Oh, peppermint. I'm so excited for peppermint. Good day, Gata. Doesn't the town look spectacular, donning its festive cheer? I agree, it does. And here's Leah. Like it or not, there will always be holiday gatherings where you've got to talk to someone who aren't necessarily interested in talking to. Right, Gata? abso fucking lootly Harvey? I'm grateful that no one caught the flu too badly. And I'm grateful that everyone is so happy to be here together. Harvey's a sweetheart. Gotta, I made something for you. Or at least I'm working on it still. I'll have to bring it by soon, but I'm sure you'll love it. Thanks, Emily. And Haley! I got Emily something really good this year. So I'm excited for her to open it. Oh, did you get each other? That's sweet. Hey, Alex. Hey, babe. I got you this necklace for Winter Star. This charm is a grid ball, and this one is cupcakes. And these letters spell out Galax. That's our couple name.
like a sack of bricks. Oh. oh my god. I need to draw Galax. Oh no. This poor man was over there looking at the different letter beads and being like, but Alda doesn't sound quite right. Galax? Galeta? No, I think it has to be Galax with an X at the end. I I am marrying you day one of spring. I, day The moment I am able to get any pendants, I am marrying you and your dumb ass. Holy fuck. Hi, Evelyn. Oh my, aren't you cold, dear? It's freezing. Well, it is cold, but don't worry. The spirit of the Feast of the Winter Star is keeping me warm. Are you bundled up, however? A feast for some stupid star. Humbug. True. But the warmth of Galax. <laughs> the, the pair of them are very politely not paying any attention to their poor grandson. God, bless his heart. Bless his heart. The good news, George, is not only will there be a football game later for you and for you and Alex to watch, uh, but also there's a bunch of really good fucking food. George looks like he could destroy some turkey. It's not a good time of year for a diet. No, it is absolutely not. Are you shitting me? Hey, Sam. I'm thankful for my guitar and my skateboard. Oh, and my family, I guess. Yeah, that's, 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 that's fair. That's fair. Uh, I want to actually zip around and say hi to Vincent next. The game will not let me. <gasps> Look at Dusty! They've decorated the doghouse! Um, Dusty looks pleased with his present. He's a lucky boy. He is a lucky boy. Happy Feast of the Winter Star, Dusty. Oh, what a good boy. Oh, I love that fucking dog. All right. Hey, Vincent. Can we open presents now? Me too. Honestly, me too. In my family, on the holidays, be it Easter or Christmas or anything where there was like a gift involved, the rule was that we didn't open any gifts until after breakfast. Breakfast was important. And if breakfast was a little early, then that's fine. The thing was, no, no kid in my household ever wanted to rush through breakfast. Once there was food in front of them, they wanted to eat. So they were distracted for a minute until the adults could have their coffee and wake and like fucking wake up. Hello, Demetrius. I like your scarf. I'll probably get another tool set this year. <sighs> oh yeah, the plight of a dad. I come from, a come from a family of chronic breakfast skippers. Oh, but Christmas breakfast is different. Spending time with family is tiring sometimes. Yeah, I get that. But it's, it's the Feast of the Winter Star. Hello, Mom-in-law. Hi, Agata. You're welcome to join our family table if you need company. Oh, I'm still doing the rounds, ma'am. But I definitely want to stop by and say hello to all of you. Hugs, kisses, hugs, hugs. Mario, get over here. You can sit at our table if you want, Gata. Oh, don't, don't worry about it. I will find myself a seat, but thank you. I'll see you guys later. Hello, Abigail. I wonder if I could lick one of those canes. One of these ones? I mean, I'm pretty certain they're made of metal and that's not the best idea in the middle of winter, but also I kind of want to double dog dare you to try it. All right, so I've spoken to everyone over here. I have to talk to Jesse, who does, still does not have a, uh, a sprite to go along with them. I have to fix that. It's so lovely to see everyone gather together. I agree. And hey, Linus. I join in, but I don't think I'm welcome. You are 100% welcome. Come with me. We are getting some of that fucking bird. Oh, I, I, I am so ready to fuck up a turkey. Give Juliet her secret gift? Absolutely. And here it is. Oh, so it's you. Ah, an emerald. Thanks. And who is my secret? <gasps> it's Evelyn. Evelyn got me? Oh, 
I'm so touched. I don't even care what it is. I just love Evelyn. Hello, dear Gada. It looks like I'm your secret gift giver this year. I whipped up a batch of my signature cookies for this very occasion. I hope you enjoy them, Gada. I would die for this woman. <laughs> Hell yeah, we got some cookies. We got some fucking cookies. Yeah. Merry winter star, Gada. May the coming year be as kind to you as you have been to me. I wish there was a hugging sprite. Oh, this ne this deserves a hug. Thank you, Evelyn. Oh, that was that was so wonderful. Merry feast of the winter star, everybody. Have I spoken to everyone? I'm pretty sure I have. I'm pretty sure that's everyone. Oh, wait a minute. Did I say hi to Elliot? No, I did say hi to Elliot. He talked about how, how amazing that town was, all festive and whatnot. All right, can I speak to Juliet afterwards? No, I cannot. So I don't get unique dialogue for her. All right, well, um, I have 172 gold left. That's not enough to buy anything, is it, Pierre? Let's just double check one last time. Uh, no, no, I, I, he's, he, he's burnt me out. I'm done. All right. Happy holidays, everybody. Back to the farm we go. Uh, once you do the festival win. Yep. Bye, everyone. Dang. What a wonderful feast of the winter star. What a wonderful feast of the winter star. Okay. So. Now, it is 10.20 p.m. So what I want to do... No, wait, hold on. Is this the same size rug? No, it's a larger rug. Ooh, a larger rug. Ah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this in front of here. We are then going to have this here. Okay, I'm going to move the fireplace over by one. Light that up. Actually, let's, let's pull this further forward. Oh, I can't because there's a thing there. Can I not put this on top? I can put it on top, but I can't put the rug. All right, so there's that. Let's uh, leave the bear statue. No, let's move the bear statue for now. We're redecorating now, everyone. The Feast of the Winter Star Tree has to go here. There we are. Now, this festive window should go here. Let's remove this window. I should have bought more than one festive window. I'm going to cast the tree on fire. It's probably fine. All right, grab that. Grab this. Grab this. That's, that's not what I wanted, actually, but okay. Um, can I break this, please? No, apparently. I can't fucking break it. Um, let's see here. So these... Oh, I can't put these in this room to different separations, can I? Can I hang one here? Are these just for the wall wall? Yeah, they're just for the wall wall. Okay. I have to use my pick to break that. All right. So let's put you here. Well, no, actually, hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Stop it. Shit. Now, oh, fine. I'll go to bed and deal with it in the morning. Happy Feast of the Winter Star Brisket. Good night. Sandwich made of bread, salami, egg, and mustard. That sounds fucking delicious. In a way that I don't think anyone else would say it's fucking delicious, but I'm, I'm, I'm for it. I'm fucking for it. Because it is, I'm happy for you. All right. What a wonderful feast of the winter star that was. What a wonderful feast of the winter star. And now that the game has loaded... Uh, let me just double check real quick. 
Oh no, a dog broke my beautiful wife's glasses. Shit. And my steel watering can is ready. I mean, that's good at least. I don't know what happened, but she just messaged me and said a dog broke my glasses. And I am, uh, beside myself. Let's make snow angels! Amazing. Well, she can... I cannot put them here, which was kind of was the goal. But that's fine. Uh, let's take this down. Put this up. Um, can I put this up here? And access it? Only if I crawl into bed. I don't want to do that. I can't put anything here. Well, that sucks. That just sucks, if you ask me. I can't put anything here, unfortunately. Can she drive without them? She can, but it's not ideal. Um, this needs to come down. The tree comes down. The tree comes down. Uh, let's move you. Let's move you. Let's move... No. I... Let's move you. Let's move you. So we're going to put this big guy here. And the small guy here. We are going to take this down. We are going to put a panel here. We're going to remove this window. Put a panel here. We are going to put bear guy here. Okay. What else do we got? What else do we got? The house plant, I think, ought to go here. We need to put this like so. Are you hungry? I mean, I could eat. We're going to take this. We're going to put this in the wall here. We are then going to have... The window, this picture, this calendar. Give that to me. Uh, and then we're going to put this bear. Well, I'm standing in the way, apparently. That's not great. Let's move you over here, actually. That's fine. Um, and then I guess the TV will have to go in this space here. Why can't it go further back? Can't place on wall. It's as far back as it goes. All right. Yeah. It is in fact a tube TV. Yes. Yes, that is that is correct. And then we'll put these things here. Let's put this window there. And I'll have to get another one to go above it. And then over here, we can put... Oh, can I not? There we go. And last but not least. Last but definitely not least. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice and cozy and comfy and yay. I like that. All right, what's the newspaper say? The spirits are in good humor today and it's going to snow tomorrow. Fantastic. Um, I am going to... There we go. I do need a couch. I desperately need a couch, actually. Um, you can go in here. Let's collect all of these, and there's my dimmond. Let's put the recycling machine there. Okay, all right, and let's check the mail. Dear Gata, I'd like to share an old cooking recipe my pappy used to make. It's important the fish is fresh. Signed, Willie. Fish stew, sounds good to me. Gata, I'm really glad you become a part of our community. I have enclosed a 500 gold check from the Stardew Valley Agricultural Fund to help you continue your good work. Maybe you can buy some more seeds with it. Sincerely, Mr. Lewis. 
Amazing. Uh. Dear Gata, I want to make fish stew, but I need an albacore. I know they're almost out of season. Sorry about the short notice. Could you catch one for me? Gus! Gus! I don't want a fucking fish, Gus! God damn it! I'm not even sure where albacore are. Okay, okay, no, no. First things first. Animals. And then I have to fucking fish. Ugh. It's fine. Hello. Hello. Let's milk you. One. Got a large milk out of you. And a regular milk out of you. There we go. Happy cows, happy life. Let's go see our chickens and ducks. We just need a large brown egg. Oh, brisket! Hey, baby. Hey, my good boy. All right, how are we doing, everybody? You guys still have food. It's all good. Pet you. And that should be everyone. No large brown eggs, but we did get a gold star brown egg. Which is a very good sign. A very, very good sign. All right, grab some mayonnaise. And let's put two duck eggs in there. All right. We'll sell all this off and then head straight for the ocean. Straight for the ocean. Straight for the ocean, where we will do nothing but fish. Hey, Pam. It's cute seeing how Penny works for those kids. Well, even if it's too late for me, at least Penny's doing something good for the world. I mean, I mean, you contribute to society, Pam. Like, don't don't get too uh, don't get too down on yourself. All right. And from here, we'll zippity doo da down to... Oh, hey, Caroline! Don't you think Abby would look better with her natural hair color? Is purple not her natural hair color? She used to have light chestnut colored hair. Did she? Squints at you. Are you sure? Are you sure, Caroline? It's all right. I'll stop bothering her. Oh, hey! Oh, Digimon Zero Two Beginning is gonna be screened in the US. Fuck yeah! Oh, gotta. Sorry, I was so deep in thought that I must not have noticed you there. You're fine. Don't worry about it, buddy. Oh. You know, when you're removed from a situation for long enough, you start to realize all the mistakes you made. I guess I've been dwelling on these mistakes for a little while now. It's about your family, isn't it? I'm talking about my relationship with Mario and Demetrius. When I was younger, I was just so angry at everything. I think I was angry at my dad, my mom, and at Maru. Slowly, that anger just ate me up inside. Noticing you didn't mention Demetrius. Just imagine for a moment, always being in the shadow of someone like Maru. The truth is, she's a genius. She's pretty. She's nice. And she even has a dad. Her parents both give her so much love and attention. I try to keep up with her. I taught myself how to program, play the synthesizer. I even taught myself how to do mechanical repairs. But repairing a bike and building robots is still a far cry away from each other. Ah, oh, buddy. Maru... She was really her father's daughter. Even though I read so much science fiction, 
I guess I never really understood the science stuff that Mario and Demetrius were always going on about. But to be fair, I never gave it a chance. My anger prevented me from doing so. Sorry, Gata. I just keep going on and on. I mean, it's a natural response. And like... You were a kid. I'm sure there's still a chance for you and Mario to have a better relationship now, but, like, puts my hand on his shoulder and says, Dude, your stepdad's kind of a bitch. But I think talking about it is helping me come to terms with my past. I got into so many fights with Mario when we were young. I know it's somewhat natural for siblings to fight, but the fights we had were different. Almost all of them were my fault, and they were born from all that anger I had inside of me. It didn't help the situation that I was bitter over Mom's remarriage and Dad having left us. I said such terrible things to Maru, like how Demetrius would eventually get sick of our family and leave. But Demetrius wasn't my father, and he didn't leave. He's made Mom happy. He's a good dad to Maru and a good husband for mom. I should have been happy for them, but I always felt like I didn't belong. I never really gave Demetrius and Mario a chance. At the very least, I should have minded my own business instead of picking fights. I probably caused mom a lot of grief growing up. I'm sure I could have learned a lot from Demetrius, about being a better farmhand, for example. I ruffle his hair. You're fine. Do you think it's too late for me to repair the bridges I've burned down? At the risk of helping Demetrius, leave the ashes of the past alone or it's never too late. Listen, listen, Seb, I never told you this. Do you remember the day that you confessed to me by the lake? I almost didn't go there. Maru stopped me and convinced me with some weird story about a snowman to head up to your place. She knew you were there waiting for me and she wingmanned for you. She's the reason we're together right now. Your sister loves you, even if the thing with Demetrius and all that is all wibbly wobbly. You definitely have a chance of making something possible work between the two of you. And also, unrelated, I am asking her to move in with me come spring. So... You're so optimistic, but you do have a point. I like to think I have many points. All of them good. I should try to be nicer to Maru and Demetrius. Well, now, hold on. Let's not put words in my mouth. I guess only time will tell. No matter what happens, though, I can always come home to you. Right, Gata? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter if your stepdad's a little bitch. I'll take care of you, Sebastian. Thank you for staying by my side. <laughs> and now I have to fucking fish. After all that, now I have to fucking fish. Well... Well, all right, got some coral. That's a seagull. The old mayor on her still isn't here. God damn it. But it's fine. Oh, another one of these. All right, and let's go see how our crab pots are doing. Oh. So, not great. At least I have a uh, refresher thing that I can use. But still, that's not, that's not great. Hey, Willie. Um, let me go ahead and get two more crab pots. And then I'm going to spend the rest of my money on bait. Okay. We're going to put 
two more crab pots. Fill them all up. Alright, and then we fish. We have to get an albacore or a squid before winter is over. That is... Oh! A red mullet! Huh! I don't recall seeing one of those before. Forget the gift, I want the fish. A herring! You good, man? You good? The cold, clean stillness of the winter can be doleful, to be sure. Okay. I'm just trying- I'm just trying to fish, man. I'm just trying to fish. Another herring. Listen, man, I'm the one fishing here. Stop- Whoa, 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 Seaweed. Some seaweed. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. A sea cucumber! That's new! Driftwood. Okay, this is going to be another low-level fish. A sardine. Oh, and it's gone. Oh, well. If my fishing talent does not go up from this, I swear to God. Okay. Alright, fish. Fish. Fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy in a dishy. Another sea cucumber. Don't mind if I do. Come on. Come on. Come on. Another herring. All right, do we have any bubbles a boot? Any boobles, boobles? Any bubba lubba lubba? Any? No? No, it doesn't appear so. Ahem. Papa, oh. I have a joke I would like to tell you. Okay. Here goes. How do you send a chicken a letter? Uh, I don't know. How do you send a chicken a letter? In a envelope. I... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm not catching this fish. Oh. Come on. Oh, an albacore! I got the albacore! Oh, thank God! Thank- okay. So that's Gus taken care of. Now I just need to get a fucking squid. Ugh. Come on. Shit. Just hold still. Oh! Oh! We did it! I got a squid! Woo! Oh, oh my god! Oh!
Oh, I did it! I fucking did it, everybody! I don't have to fish anymore! It's over! It's all over! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, you know what? That deserves a jolly jangle of the cheer bell! Woo! Oh, yes! Oh my god! Oh... Of course, come spring, everyone's going to ask me for stuff anyway, so like... Um... Okay. Oh, a cutscene! Gosh, let me tell you something. Hmm? This is the blessed gay- Oh, you're not, you're not actually drunk. This is the best glazed lambs I've ever eaten in my entire life. Oh, you had me for a second, Pam. I'm glad you liked it. Lately, Pierre's been selling great quality stuff. I think he's been buying from the new farmer, Gotta. My ears perk up. Gotta! That kid sure is hardworking. <sighs> I ain't got that young energy anymore. Come on, Pam, we're still young. Okay, what about I bring you two pale ales and we relax a little? That sure sounds good. Pale ales always cheer me up. All right, so I first need to give this albacore to Gus. Hello, Gus. <laughs> What's that? Something smells like albacore. Haha, -ha, you brought it. Thanks a million. Not a problem. So now you can make fish stew. And then, Willy. Willy. Sailors and booze go way back. When you're on the open ocean, it's easy for water to go bad. But booze stays safe to drink. Also good for cutting the salt and rations and disinfect them. Willy. Hey, you did it! Not bad, not bad at all. I'm impressed. Winter's a good time to break out the old fishing rod, isn't it? Willy, please. Please. I don't want to break out the old fishing rod anymore, Willy. Ugh. All right. Well. We did it, everyone. We fucking did it. And uh, while we're in the area... All right, once again, let's see here. I, I think the sea cucumber, is a sea cucumber in one of these? Tunas, oh, hold on, sardine. All right, so we have herring, sardine, and red mullet. We can put the sardine in there, but that appears to be it. Okay. All right. Who needs a sea cucumber? I think someone needed a sea cucumber and we already took care of it. Okay. All right. In that case, let's go drop off this the um uh the fish as it were and then move on with our fucking lives. Jeez Louise. Alrighty then, so specialty fish, no, 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 it was the ocean fish, sardine, there we go, hot cha cha, alright, and let's head back home, let's head back home, we only have two more days in winter, just two more days, hey Abigail, I've already spoken to her today, so won't we do it again? We should be able to actually make it through winter before the end of this stream. All right, so red mullet, herring. Uh, I'm going to hang on to this trash. Because 
because if I come over to here, that can convert it into not trash. All right, uh, while I'm here, we have 135 pieces of hardwood. We're actually really close to uh, having all the hardwood to fix the boat. So I think, already petted. Good night, everyone. That will be our focus tomorrow, trying to get more hardwood. All right, 2,000 gold, not too shabby. Day 27 of winter year one. Either today or tomorrow is the last day of winter. At which point? Oh, at which point? Uh, <laughs> we'll be getting into spring of year two, and we can start planting some shit again. Hot damn. Hot diggity damn. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's a brand new day. Some villagers have noticed your close bond with Lewis. Some villagers have noticed your blooming friendship with Willy. Willy likes us. All right. The spirits are in good humor today, and it's still going to snow tomorrow. God damn it. Doesn't really bother me one way or the other, but... All right, so we have our steel axe and our steel pickaxe. Let me grab my hoe as well, in case we see any, uh, oh. And let's grab this broken glasses trash, because it became a single stone. When do we overthrow capitalism and set up our own monopoly? Well, we have to, compl if we complete the, um, if we complete the community center, then there will be a cutscene where Jojo gets, like, chased out of town. Um, but that's, you know, gonna take a second. A large milk from you. A regular milk from you. There's that. Some villagers have noticed your blooming friendship with Elliot. Huh? Why did that only trigger after I left the cows? I don't understand. Um, let's break you. All right, got some more hardwood out of that. Hello, hello, hello. Chicky, chicky, chickies. Hooray, hooray. Chicky, 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 chickies. Regular brown egg. All right, then we'll grab a bunch of hay. There we go. Everyone's been fed. Huh, I didn't know we had to fix up a building for that. Well, until we verify that the community center, like once we fix the community center up, it'll be like a kick in the butt for Lewis and everyone to like start investing back in their town. Um, because like right now, the town, the, the, the town people, like they're friendly and all, but it isn't quite the same. So by fixing up the old community center, we'll like light a fire underneath them and really get everyone involved again. At which point Pierre tells Jojo to go, go shove off. As it is right now, I'm selling all of my produce to Pierre's, but Pierre's is having a hard time flipping it all. Um, the quality of the vegetables are good, and people are commenting on it, but the prices at Joja are still just overall cheaper. So once we actually get Joja out of the way, uh, Pierre can then price his stuff at a reasonable rate with me supplying them, and we'll be feeding the entire fucking valley. All right, that's a lot of stone. Do we have any big stones or wood over here? 
From the looks of it, no. From the looks of it, everything's just okay. Oh, wait. Right, grab that. Grab that. Alright, and that's just regular wood. Alright, I'm gonna have to head into the forest to see about getting some more hardwood. Tromping mm -hmm, mm -hmm. through the snow with an axe over my shoulder. Gonna get some wood. Alright. Hello, slimes. Um, this is not really the best way to fight them, but... I should have brought my sword. It's fine. I'll be okay. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. There. See? What did I tell ya? It was fine. The whole time. Alright, that makes it 139. Got some more rocks. Got some more rocks. Alright, that's 141 hardwood. One forty-five hardwood. And then if we come down here, we can get a couple more pieces. Ow. Ow. One forty-seven. And one forty-nine. We'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. It'll just take some time. Let's see here. I don't think there's going to be any large sources of wood down in Cinder Sap. But let's take a little stroll just in case. Just in case, you know? You never you never know. You never know. We do have some worms about. Actually, I wonder. Hey Hat Mouse. How's it going? hi -o, Poke! Did you bring coins? Good. Me sell hats! We have the Santa hats, the Southwester, the blue bonnet. Okay, nothing that I need. I have a good old cat back at home, so that's enough for me. But thank you! Alright. Excuse me. So I think that is all the hardwood we're going to get, unless there are some over here. This. No, but there's that, the key to the sewers. How do I get this again? It is locked. Mouse? Yeah, hat mouse! He's a talking mouse who lives in the woods and sells hats if you bring him coins. He's a good boy, and I love him. Doesn't appear to be any thick logs for me to chop down, sadly. Oh, there's a crystal fruit, though. I'll take that. All right. Okay. Let's head back to the farm and take a look-see at what we'll have to do to clear things up. So over here is where my main area is. I have cleared out all of this. So there's, uh, there's plenty of space. Plenty of space. What do I need to make more of the iridium sprinkler? 
waters 24 adjacent tiles every morning. And I do have gold, iridium, and battery packs. Hold on. Um, this one here. I have iridium, I have gold, and I have battery packs. So let's craft three of these. And these do 24 adjacent tiles. So I, I think it's two down. Let me set this up ahead of time. So, so if we start here, one, two, three, and then here, do one, two, three. Hold on, is it one, two? Yeah, we do one, two. So one, two, and then one, two, three. One, two. No, hold on. These are one, two. Oh no, I see what's happening. One, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Five, and that should water out to here. Okay, so that's useful. Do I have stone path that I can make? Yes, let's make a bunch of cobblestone path. Since all of mine got messed with, let's just fix this up a little bit. Let's just fix this up a little smidge, you know? You know, and actually, um, let's see here. One here. We can probably... No, that's not what I wanted. Expand it like this. Uh, and then craft. Quality sprinkers is refined quartz, gold bar, and iron bar. Uh, we should have refined quartz... We only have the one iron bar. That's not good. That's not good at all. All right, so I, so I need more iron. Actually, can I transmute? I can transmute three copper into one iron. How much copper do I have? I have plenty of copper. I have plenty of copper. There we go. There we go. All right, so now I have six sprinklers. And I can start placing them around. Oh my god, I'm just one short. Look at all of this automation we're going to have, everybody! Holy shit! This is going to be great. This is going to be grand. One, two, and the third one out. We pull this across, and then one, two, and the third one out. Oh, we're going to have so much space for all sorts of things. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. It is 6.50 p.m. Let's drop off some of these things. To oh, 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 the alcohol hit. The alcohol is here. Um, let's grab corn. No, don't do that. Let's sell this and this and keep those. Sell this, sell those, this, 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 this. Keep those, sell the wine, sell the large milk. Okay, and then we're gonna take all of this corn and we're going to put it in here. Fantastic. All right. Oh, I had some more iridium here the whole time. What a fool I am. All right. All right. With that. Mm, hey, you. Hey, yourself. I dusted and swept today, and I cleaned the kitchen. See? I do stuff sometimes, too. Hey, tell me about your day. Did anything exciting happen today? Maybe I drank too much coffee. I don't feel very tired. You can say up, Bubba. You're fine. You're good. All right. Good night, everyone. All right. This is either the last day of winter... 
or the first day of spring. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Day 28 of winter. All right. The last day of winter. If the game will load. If the game will load. Yeah, let's get through the last day of winter, and then we'll call it a stream. Huzzah! Check the bat cave, huh? Are all the seasons not the same length? Um, I'm sure. Yeah. Mm, yes. But also, I'm 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 big stupid. So. Yes. Happy last day of winter, everybody. All the jams popped. Oh, we are rolling in the money. We are rolling in the dough. We are going to have not a lot of money, but a decent start to uh to the new season. Oh, oh, the joy. The joy and the wonder. They are all the same length. Thank you, Jen. No, I don't want to eat the corn. I don't want to eat the corn. There we go. Put the coin in there. And to the best friend. It's as if I've seen mermaids on the jewel sea, trailing their emerald scales, frolicking and chasing not far from the beach, their long hair brushing the waves, reminding me of the luster of aquamarine. I love writing with all my heart, just as people are born with a passion for the far and unknown. Everyone can be a writer of their own life. The difference is whether that person is willing to put love and passion into the people and things around them. Whether they are willing to get in touch with the beauty and ugliness of the world, or whether they are willing to think for themselves about how they should live, rather than listen to the words of their parents, their teachers, or just anyone. I think you've understood the meaning of these words if you've moved to Stardew Valley. Elliot. Can you buy these ahead of time? No. Gotta, I have great news! Uh, my novel is finished! I'm giving a public reading this afternoon in the library! Hope to see you there! Oh my god, we have to go see him read his book! Oh shit, we, we've just blazed through this. Uh-oh. Dear Gata, writing a book and selling a book are two completely different things I've discovered. I feel like a fish flopping around on land, trying to figure out how to move. Now that my revisions are almost done, I'm trying to figure out my next steps. But everything seems so foreign and intimidating. I know I can write, but after this, I also know I can edit. Uh, but do I have what it takes to publish and be successful? I suppose all I can do is focus on one step at a time and remind myself that I have friends like you who believe in me. To give up now would be a betrayal of your faith. I'll send you word when my revisions are done, Yada. Your friend, Elliot. So these came in the wrong order. Alas. Hey there, I had some extra wood lying around. Thank you, Robin. Okay, so I guess we have to go to the library this afternoon. Uh, I guess we just have to do that. We do also have to swing by Clint's to grab our um, watering can before tomorrow. So that works out for me. That works out just fine for me. Hello, everyone. I still have the milk pail. A regular milk. And a, a regular milk. Oh. What happened? Why are you mad at me, cow? I fed you and everything, and I petted you, and it's great. Alright. Alright, 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 okay, okay, alright. Chicken time, chicken time. <gasps> a new baby chick hatched! What should the baby chick's name be? What should the baby chick's name be? I'm gonna get a sip of water real quick. Someone give me an idea. Ah, delicious. Delicious water. Oh, a new baby chick. I'm so happy. Beautiful wife. Sent me a picture. 
of the dog that broke her glasses. And I cannot be mad. I need... To, <laughs> I'm posting it in Weenie Watch. His name is Otis. He broke beautiful wife's glasses at work today. I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad. It's a fucking long-haired weenie dog, and he's cute as hell, and he's coned too! Oh, baby. He's very, he's clearly very sorry about that, says Sheila in the Discord. <laughs> anyway, since we're talking about the Discord. If you join our community Discord, everybody will yell yee whore and jangle cowbells at you. I'm told this is meant to be a perk, but honestly, it sounds horrific. Subs have an exclusive channel to see works in progress before anyone else. How on earth? Oh, 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 what? Coffee is blue. Coffee's a blue chicken. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh, if we had gotten if we had gotten a large brown egg the same time that coffee hatched, I would have lost my mind. But. Okay, coffee is here. Blue coffee. Coffee seems curious, but a little cautious. She's getting used to her new home. How sweet. Oh my God. Okay, all right. Um, we have duck egg, we have regular egg, and the rest we will sell. So egg and egg. Oh, and there's brisket. Hey, uh, Brisky. Good boy. Alright. Does it lay golden eggs or something? No. They're just exclusive to, uh, after you romance Shane. Um, I didn't realize that they would just show up. That they would just randomly be an option. But I'm not upset about that. By any means. Oh, right. Rusty Spur. We need to collect the ancient objects. Let's get the geodes as well. Um, I think that's everything. I think that's everything for right now. Uh, yeah, that's everything. Okay. So here is what we are going to do. Oh, hey, Pam. Bye, Pam. Nope, mine carts. Worms. Wait, so you have to romance Shane to get them? Yes, it is locked behind. What if I don't like Shane? Then you don't get chickens. Or you romance Shane and then divorce him. So, yeah. It's not great, but. All right, hello. I got my watering can. Thank you so much. All right, so process geodes first. Boop. Uh-huh. 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 All right. And there's one more thing. Saltpeter. From the Mod Fireworks Festival. Do I have the recipe for fireworks? I don't appear to. I have black powder, which explodes, but I don't appear to have the recipe for fireworks. That's okay. Tree fertilizer, sprinkle on a wild tree to ensure rapid growth. Doesn't work on fruit trees. Interesting. I have to give that a shot. All right. So let's head into the library. Will it trigger the cutscene? No, not yet. It is not yet afternoon. That's fine. 
All right, so we have the rusty spur. We have the cog. We have the shell. And we have the doll. And we get a reward for it. Collect rewards. Oh, a skeleton decoration for halloween -y. That's cute. Thank you. All right. We have to come back here after noon. So let's real quick go to Cinderstap. Uh, Cinderstap? Cindersap. Uh, and collect ourselves some more hardwood. We're at 149. We need 200 to complete the boat to Willy's. Do I keep my fiber? I did. Let's actually craft some tree fertilizer. I want to see how it works, if it works, on already grown trees. No, it's only for already mature trees. Okay. Okay. Then let me try this. I have mahogany. I have one mahogany seed. You can grow into a mahogany tree. I don't know what a, a mahogany tree actually entails. Oh. Well, we'll find out later. I was hoping it would just automatically spring up like in, uh... Like in Minecraft. <laughs> okay, okay, alright, okay. Let's zippity doo da. Hi, Jazz! One, two, three, four. Oh no, I messed up again! And then, of course, you're here! Hello! Anchovy Walleye Treasure Hunter Fishing Tackle. Fish don't escape while collecting treasures. Interesting. Uh, trout soup, copper bar, parsnip seeds. Table plant coffee bean. Nothing that I really need. I'm pretty sure I already have coffee beans. And I'll be able to buy parsnip seeds much cheaper than this. Shrimp cocktail includes my fi upgrades my fishing and luck. Hmm. Alright, let's see real quick. It was... Walleye? Oh, walleye. I need the walleye. I don't need the anchovy, so buy the walleye. Huzzah. And then carry on my way. One less thing I have to fish. Alright, hello everyone. Don't mind me. I said, don't mind me. All right, so that's 151. Another book in the library. 153. 155. 157, I don't see anything else that I need immediately. This will be 161, I believe. We're getting there. Only, what, 39 more hardwood to go. Only 39 more hardwood to go. That's, that's doable, I guess. I think. Kind of. All right. So now that we have all that, let us head back out into town to go hang out with, uh, to go hang out at the library for Elliot's book reading. I am very excited for this. Give me free stuff. Give me free stuff. I am very excited to finally hear this book being read. He's been talking a lot about it. 
He's been working on it really hard. And honestly, as someone who has looked into self-publishing, uh, this is fucking terrifying. <gasps> oh, the whole damn town is here! Minus the kids. I'm still wearing the Santa hat. Gotta, you made it! I feel so relieved we don't want my book. It's like an elephant's been lifted off my shoulders. Well, I better get started with the reading. Wish me luck. Good luck, Elliot. You got this. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi! Emily. Ever since I was a young boy, I've dreamt of becoming a writer. When the time came for me to leave home and start my own life, I moved here. I was drawn to the peaceful beauty of the valley and hoped that days of quiet reflection in this idyllic atmosphere would fan the literary flames. After countless hours scribbling at my writing desk, I prevent, present to you my first novel, Galactic Highways. It's a sci-fi epic about a small-time ship captain who gets tasked with escorting an alien prince in trouble. I don't know why I assumed it would be like poetry or like a biography. Chapter 1 Sound didn't travel in space, but Captain Aaron could always feel the rumbles of passing spaceships in her bones, echoing her own ship's Malo neighbors clanks and grumbles. Soon, she promised it, they'd land a good gig soon. Yee-ha! Hello, James. Welcome in. They're gaining on us, Prince Bast Sinea yelled. Can't this squishy bucket go any faster? You can complain about Malonover's speed when you're not the reason we're being chased. Aaron looked at the nebula looming ahead. Its color is a bright, warming light against the blackness of space. They could lose their pursuers, but it was going to be rough. Well, that concludes my reading. I hope to have it on sale soon. Thanks for listening. Well, how was it? I want the whole book now. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I got the idea for making a sci-fi book from you. Do you remember? Did, did I tell him like a sci-fi book? That's why I've dedicated this book to you. Aw, thanks, Elliot. Oh, that was sweet. Stardew, I barely know you. Hi, Bandit. Welcome in. Welcome in. All right. There are two things that need to be done. I picked the genre. I don't remember doing that. Okay. All right. Oh, actually, you know what? What does Pierre have on sale? Hello, Pierre. Oh, hey. Juliet. Didn't expect to see me here, did you? Well, this girl's got to repent her sins, right? Does she? Does she need to repent her sins, Juliet? All right. So... I should probably have the recipe for grass starter, honestly. Uh, let's see here. We have plenty of fertilizer. Oh, I could get some nice wallpaper. And then the saplings. Takes 28 days to, for, to a tree. Bears fruit in summer. So if I were to buy an apple sapling now and plant it tomorrow, it would get me apples by the first of summer. Okay. Hey, Pierre? Pierre. When the hell were you going to tell me that you sell mermaid pendants? Pierre? All this time! This man is like g g grinning at me from across the fucking table. He knows that I've been checking the beach every single day. 
This motherfucker is like, yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, farmer? Um, I'm going to come... F fucking Pierre is like, listen, if this bitch is going to, to wine and dine every single person in the fucking town, I might as well profit off of it. Gotta, the pendant man only comes when it's raining. Hope that helps. I know this, but I can dream. He knows that I've been staring wistfully where the pendant man is supposed to be. Oh, that piece of shit. Alright, it is 4.50 p.m. It's not quite sundown yet. But I do think I want to scope out this area up here. Because... There is supposed to be a path. It seems impossible to budge. Hmm. Hmm. And then, of course, you're here. Huh? Is there an extra path that I don't know about? Or will that rock move specifically when it is nighttime? because there's going to be a festival up there. Let me see here. I don't know. Hello? Oh, Linus! Hey, Linus! We made it. <laughs> what, what does that mean, Linus? Linus? What does that mean? A path. Yes. Uh, there's, it's, it's New Year's Eve. Um, I, I'm playing modded Stardew Valley. I must stress. I cannot stress enough how modded this fucking game is. Uh, once the sun goes down, I'm supposed to be here, and there's supposed to be a fireworks display. What if I leave the area and come back? Is the rock still there? Yes. Hmm. Well, I don't want to, uh... Let's see. I don't have the ability to reread my old mail, unfortunately, so I can't verify. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, this is the... Gotta don't try and be Spider-Man. What? What does that mean? I don't understand that context. Oh, hello. Another year down. Another couple decades of this and I'll be old. Oh, Robin. I'll keep doing what I'm doing for many years, though. Good for you. I, I want to say, if it's time-sensitive, it'll trigger after 10 p.m. So I'm going to hang out here for just a hot minute. And see if we can't trigger that event properly. Okay. Don't be a Spider-Man stopping trains. Oh no! No, 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 no. Nothing of the sort. I would do I would do nothing of the sort. Just gather up all this. Is there a tree down here? There is not. Okay. So we're just going to hang out in the area. Wait till 10 p.m. See if anyone else joins us. It is properly nighttime. You know, it's fucking New Year's Eve. So it's probably going to be at midnight that it happens. that just chop down all the trees don't mind me they'll grow back
All right, it is 10 p.m. So now let's see if it'll trigger the event. And... <gasps> oh, everyone's here! Even the kids. This is this is a this is a full cutscene too. I'm not controlling this. Good evening, Gata. I'm glad you could make it. Ah, it feels good to say that again. Since the boulder blocked the path, we haven't been able to reach our usual spot to celebrate. Oh, is this a weird way up then? Here, this is for you. Lewis hands over an envelope that's addressed to you. What? What is, what is this? You look confused. Are you wondering what the envelope is about? Very much so, sir. It's something of a review of, of your year. Everyone gets one. Each year, Wellwick somehow places a bird's nest on this bench here, and inside are those envelopes with one addressed to each of Pelican Town's townsfolk. Why don't you open it and see for yourself? Dear Gata, it has been an exciting year, don't you think? I took a look into the vast sea of stars and saw your progress. Why don't we take a stroll down memory lane? Let's go on a voyage together through the vast endlessness of space to see what you achieved. Oh? What is this? Huh? The sign of the warrior, a fierce protector of the valley. Strong and fearless, he fought hard to contain the chaos that lies beneath the valley. You helped the valley by extinguishing 1,156 lives for the Adventurer's Guild. You are the true protector of this valley, and some might even call you a hero. The stars shine bright for your future. The Sign of the Legend Elusive and majestic, this eternal fish swims through the sea of stars. You caught 76 fish while trying 144 times. Do not fret. Even if the fish of the valley seem elusive now, the stars are hopeful for your progress in the future. I love Pelican Town Wrapped! The sign of the tree, unyielding yet tranquil. Under its grand canopy, the land flourishes. You helped the valley by recycling two items and were rewarded with 667 foraged items. You worked tirelessly and the stars have smiled upon you for that. Oh. The sign of the scythe, resolute and diligent. Looking into the night sky in fall, you may catch sight of this constellation that promises a well, bountiful home. I scoured the internet, Ten and words. other than the questionable images I found I'm searching in... Sonic on DeviantArt, I'm in the middle of I something. Found. It's a fun fact. Really? Did you know? The record <sighs> number of eggs laid by a chicken in one day is seven. The record number of eggs laid by a chicken in one year is 371. He wanted to be included. That's, that's all it was. He wanted to be included. Thanks, Henbert. You planted 814 seeds and filled the valley with new life, while you destroyed 48 weeds to do so. The work you have put into your farm speaks for itself. The stars of the scythe twinkle in amazement. We did spend a lot of time on crops. Oh. The sign of the diamond, bright, strong, and hopeful. In many places, it symbolizes eternal love. I see you crushed 87 geodes and 2,700 rocks on your journey. You shine like a true diamond. Your strength and skill with the pickaxe is astounding. Oh? The sign of the orator kind and gentle. Her demeanor allowed her to heal the hearts of the valley, and even the stars seemed to flock around her. You are friends with 22 people here, and help the people of the valley by doing them one favor. 
This year has come to an end, and sometimes it's good to have a slow year, to just sit back and relax. Do everything in your own time and enjoy your life. The future shines bright for you. I hope to see you next year. Damn. Seems like your letter was a positive one. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, would you look at the time? It's almost time for the fireworks show. Happy New Year, Gata. May many more follow. It's almost time. Happy New Year, George. Vincent, look, look. I'm so excited. Come on, Alex, let's take a photo. It's time to celebrate. This is going to be beautiful. Three, two, one. Happy New Year, everybody. What a year it has been in Stardew Valley. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. Yay! The fireworks were beautiful. Let's see what the new year brings. Oh, um, another cutscene? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it the exact same cutscene? It's the exact same cutscene. Okay. Phew! For a minute there, I thought I would have to go through the whole thing all over again, but we're good. We're good. All right. Well, with that out of the way, let's go save the game and then we'll end stream so that next time we play, we will begin on spring one of year two. Let's just real quick make sure we have everything that we... Oh my god, look at all of this. It's a New Year's miracle. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bats. Thank you. All right, let's see what we have that we can sell real quick um, so that we have some cash to start the new year off with. We can probably sell the mead, put this up. Um, we have a ton of wool that we don't need to hang on to. Uh, keep the cobblestone paths, keep the apple sapling, um, keep this. Keep the tools, obviously. Let's take these. Oh, why not? I'll get plenty more later. Anywho, we'll need the trees. Keep the cactus seeds. Sell the cactus fruit and the hot pepper. My inventory is full. Of course it is. All right. Uh, let's see here. Sell the holly. Sell the quartz. All right. So let's just go through and sell all of this. Yes, why not? Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Sell it all. In it goes. In it goes. All right, what else we got? Do some, uh, some winter's night clearing. Sell the diamond. Keep the wheat flour. Okay. Let's go here. We don't need the rare crow. It's fine. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, I can't sell the rare crow. <gasps> Ooh, look at the owl. Look at it go. Beautiful. What a majestic creature. Game. And the last thing I learned is cranberry candy. Amazing. All right, on this, the final year of year one, I crawl into bed next to my cat and all of my partners. And good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. So here's what's gonna happen, all right? I ended, I started stream kind of early, and so I ended it kind of late because I wanted to make sure that we got through everything. Um, so I'm going to end stream here. I'll be back 
I want to say 315, 330 for Pokemon. We're going to play some more Pokemon Classic. So if you're still here, I hope you can join me for that. Thank you for joining me very much, everybody. And I will see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye, guys. Let me just real quick make sure this saves properly. And and come on and is game gonna fucking save? Hello? Please don't tell me that it's going to fucking crash on me again. Oh, thank God. Bye, everyone.